Hello, and welcome to tonight's episode of Drachmae and Demigods. I am Sammy Ferber, and I'll be your host for the evening. Welcome to an exciting episode of the Links of Tartarus campaign. I'm excited. I hope you're excited. A couple announcements before we get started here. As always, last week's episode, if you missed it, is on YouTube right now. You can also watch the VOD on Twitch while it's there. Uh, it was a fun episode. Nice. I always love new, like, new settings in these episodes, so that was a lot of fun. Uh, exciting. If you're not subscribed to our YouTube channel, subscribe to our YouTube channel. It really helps us out. And while you're at it, Twitter and Instagram and Facebook and here on Twitch, we, d we appreciate all of it. It really helps us out. We're trying to make this community grow. But all that said, I know I've said it last few weeks, but Fable Forge RPG new campaign, the Red Opera campaign, premieres October 12th. That's next week, next Tuesday. So you're going to hear a lot about it in our next episode because it's going to be the day before. Um, I'm super excited for this campaign. If you aren't into Fable Forge RPG yet, definitely go follow them on Instagram and Twitter and all of that stuff as well. And make sure that you watch their, the opening premiere episode on October 12th. Um, we're we're going to be hosting it here on Drachman Demigods. But you'd also talk in chat over on Fable Forge. Uh, so that'd be super awesome. Okay. I think that's it. Friends, let's get into the story. So, previously on Drachme and Demigods, the Hands of Fate arrived in Vultura on the Isle of Ares and found themselves immediately in the thick of it. The city is full of soldiers from all the major alliances of the continent, all eagerly awaiting the reveal of Alcmenos the Once Smote's new invention that is rumored to revolutionize warfare. But the announcement's been delayed, and only through Alexios's history with the Once Smote did the party discover why. Alcmenos had invented, for lack of a better word, hand cannons, firearms, and shortly thereafter he was visited by Themis, the titaness of morality and judgment. Themis believes that these inventions will do nothing but cause unfathomable numbers of death, and cannot be allowed to circulate widely. Alcmenos eventually agreed, but his apprentice, Paloma the War Dove, did not. So she stole two different prototypes and called a race to Olympus, a super rare type of gladiatorial battle, which would end with her revealing the new weaponry in exciting fashion in front of all the major armies of the continent. Alcmenos and Themis did not want this to happen. And so, the party decided to bribe their way into this competition, in an effort to reach the final round and attempt to make those new firearms seem underwhelming to the captive armies. Only by defeating Paloma handily can catastrophe potentially be avoided. So, you spent most of your night preparing gathering money, and gathering supplies, and eventually found rest back on the docks of the Tromocrates, in dock in Vultura. You awake at first light. You are awoken at first light. There is a lot of commotion around the ship that stirs you, and eventually people begin shaking you all awake individually. Oi, come quick! There are the dock! There are the dock! Eventually you all dress and get to the top deck where you see a large crowd of these Vulturan guards, these brutish, uh, muscular men, all standing, waiting at the edge of the docks by the Tromocrates. You assume, waiting for you. I am um, pretty right. sure my thing on the st my picture on the stream is as well. You know, I, I just wanna... thought you were holding that really still. That's what I <laughs> thought, and I was very confused. Hold on, let me fix that. You guys keep going. Uh, I look at everybody, and yeah, are you all ready to go? I have a question. Okay, um, I guess I'll sleep for Alexios. Yeah. Um. Alcamenos had different types of these hand cannons, right? I do believe he said two prototypes. 
What the? Did we ever look over these schematics? Like, what do they look like? Are they like short range, long range? Are they like shoot one thing at a time, reload? Like, how does this work? We kind of just ignored that. I mean, I don't think. Well, we didn't think to ask him to look at the schematics. Uh, we'll find out today. <laughs> I love that. I love that for you guys. Well, don't get cannoned. <laughs> yeah. I'll try not to. Uh, everybody? Any? Uh, oh, everybody have weapons, everything ready to go. We're, okay. uh, we're on the Tromocrates right now, yeah? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So, I want to find, I mean, I'm, I'm ready to go, but I just have to, I just have to find uh, Trya for a second, and then I'll be good. So, <laughs> I'll, I'll look for him. Yeah, basically the entire crew, for the most part, is up on the top deck right now, because there, this is such a bizarre sight. So you do see Trya standing next to an Emios in a corner. I'll, I'll walk up and, um... Listen, we're not, we're not sure how this is going to play out. You know? Apparently, some unsavory people that are from my past... Uh, know that I'm here now. And so I don't know what's going to happen. Um, could be really good. Could be really bad. I'm not sure. It's just, uh, you know, I'll look at an Emeos and say, make sure that you keep her safe. And, you, cool. you know, and anything, you know, really bad starts to happen, get out of here. You know, if we make it out, I don't know what's gonna happen. I'm just, you know, be safe, be careful. You know, it, it's better safe than sorry. All right. Should we be uh, expecting something? I, I don't, I don't think so. It's just, I, you know, I might be just overthinking some stuff. Just make sure that you're safe. Make sure that you know, the crew is on, standing guard. I don't know. Just okay. be careful. And then I wanna, I wanna. Take my trident and my net, and I'm gonna give them to tr Trium. You hold on to these for me. Um, don't you need weapons in a fight? Yeah, I, I've got it covered for now. It's fine. Okay. Um, thanks. I'll, I'll be giving these back to you. Okay. Okay. All right. Cool. And Looks I'll, like I'll... a silver tip. <laughs> <laughs> And then I'll, I'll go in the... Actually, hold on. Give me one second. Um, you can go ahead and remove those from your inventory as well. Mm -hmm. I think that was all I had. Yeah. Okay. So, all right. And then I'll go in. I'll give it like a little little hug. And I'll meet back up with uh, Alexios and the rest of the party. All right. Any other last um, minute activity? Yeah, Alexios? Um... I don't know if you'd allow this. There's no like rain to like where how far Forge can be away from me. Yeah. But if possible, I want to hand him a stack of letters and to tell him to go to the tower and give these to my master. Yeah. I, I th I'd say he can absolutely do that for you. Um, and I'm gonna turn to Ryujin. I'm gonna tell him, don't forget to dread helm. And uh, I'll put that. Hand me your me. sword. Okay. Here you go. I'll take out the moon touch long sword. Hand it to Alexios. <clears throat> Wait, it's magical. Yeah. I mean, it, it glows. Can't do anything with it. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> okay, I'll take out the um. <laughs> You're like, hey, wait, can I get my, my trident back? <laughs> no, it's fine. Um, I could put it on that. I mean, fuck. Yeah, you could. Um, <laughs> I don't know what you're trying to do, but this is hilarious to me. <laughs> uh, I could. Uh, I was gonna give just him an enhanced to... weapon, but I think if it's moon touched, that still counts as magical. 
It is magic. Yeah, it's a common magic mm -hmm. item, but it is magic. Yeah. yeah um. Hey, Trio. <laughs> yeah. Uh, actually, can I? Can I? Can I see the trident real quick? Um. I might You're actually. A piece I'm of not... shit. <laughs> <laughs> Give me the sword. It's <laughs> <laughs> well here actually hold on. out of character I'm, I'm trying to think about this because the long sword I have is um, it's already magical but it does what a d8 I think yeah so long swords will always do a d8 unless you are holding it with two hands and then it'll and then do it's... a d10 okay yeah. see I always thought that the versatile was thrown but you know, no that, that's thrown is what it's called mm, gotcha 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 <laughs> Makes sense. Makes you can sense. use your decks with a long sword, right? Uh, no. Uh, long sword is only a strength based weapon. Hmm. Oh, yeah. All right. So, I'll, 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 yeah. I'll, uh, can I just rewind time a little bit, actually? And just, just, <laughs> just not have given her the chance? No. I'm going to say you can't rewind time, but you can, you can take back the shit that you took from, but that you gave Trya. I'll, I'll give, I'll, I'll take. Yeah, I'll take it back and be like, all right, thank you. I just needed you to hold that for uh, for a second. Um, yeah. Uh, thank you. And then I'll <laughs> I'll put on the the dread helm and um. Yep. I'll get Alexios okay. the dagger. <laughs> or not the dagger, the trident. Fuck. I'm gonna put enhanced weapon on the trident. Okay, That's a plus so, one to attack and a plus one for damage. Yes, so there's no way on Dean to be on to mark that on your sheet, Ryujin. So you'll just have to remember that, for the moment at least, it's a plus one to attacks with that with the trident and a plus one to damage with the trident. And Alexios, you just need to remember that one of your infusions is being used. Okay. All right. So... Without further ado, cool. sorry. Yeah. There's one last thing I wanted yeah, to do. I totally ahead. forgot. Um, where's where's Cassandra at? She's around. She's she's just like chilling at the the wheel. Even though the ship's not moving, but it just seems like sort of her natural state of being. She's leaning up against the wheel. Yeah, I'll go up to her and I'll I'll say it, um, kind of quietly. Uh, so there's some some people from my past that probably know I'm I'm here now and you know it's kind of got something to do with Poseidon and you know gladiator arena it, it didn't end well um so there's probably gonna be people uh, coming after me now and I don't know if they would be willing to target another child of Poseidon I don't know if that's how they do things but it's just a worry that I have so just make sure you guys are on guard and and really really paying attention you know like try not to leave Trey alone you know just make sure you're on guard and then you know if, if something i guess happens and you guys need to leave don't hesitate of course uh, forgive me for the question what exactly are we on the lookout for um i'm not really sure i just know that the the leader of, of this What's his name? Um, the Glory Maker. The, no. Oh, the the guy in charge of this this place. Yeah. Ringmaster Maynor. Uh, Ringmaster Maynor, I think, probably knew the the leader of the Gladiator Arena that I had left before I met up with the rest of the group, um, and his name was the Glory Maker, and he, well tried to drown me and decided and basically, you know, kill them with the water that I was trying to be drowned in. And apparently they were maybe friends. I don't know. So just... Well, many uh, people who run these gladiatorial arenas, they are at least friendly with each other as they routinely are in communication to transfer gladiators, of course. So that is not yeah. unsurprising. I, I would... I would just say be, be careful. I could just be overthinking, or, well, I guess we're using doesn't overthink, huh? I guess. <laughs> Character development. I could just, I could just be worrying too much. Um, but 
I don't know, I have a bad feeling, so. If I have learned anything over the years, it is to trust your gut. I will heed your warning. Thank you. Okay. And do well today. I have put a lot of money on your party, yes? We will certainly do our best. Good. Now go. They are not very patient people here. Okay. All right. So, you guys make your way off the deck of the Tromocrates into this flank of Vulturan guards. As you guys approach them, without even a word, they turn and begin to form this formation around you, almost like a, a like personal bodyguards for each of you, like a presidential procession. And they form this protect protective barrier around you and march you through the streets towards the arena of Ares. Lots of commotion on the streets today. It was exciting yesterday. Today, it is intense. People are everywhere. People are shouting. No one's working right now. It's more so like the energy before the first baseball game of the season. Like, everyone is out. Everyone is festive. Everyone is, is making bets or, or selling, uh, like, you know, crude merchandise for some of the, the players or for some of the teams. You see lots of people. Now, now that uh, one, someone in town mentioned it, you're seeing a lot of people with like streaks of purple in their hair or completely purple hair that you know is a sign of respect or adoration for Paloma. It's it's a lot. And you see some people sort of trying to peek around the guards at you. And you see some some people are confused. Some people are upset. People going like, like I had a lot of money on the fucking golden hoe. What the fuck is this? This isn't fair. Give me all the money back. Blah, 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 blah. Lots of commotion. But... Without incident, you manage to get to the arena and the, gu the guards escort you down a tunnel that you haven't been in before. But you find yourselves in a rather large, what you assume to be waiting area. There are some other teams that are already here. Um, none of people that you recognize. Uh, but you do see that everyone seems to have their own area of the room and everyone has this level of protection around them even here in this environment. You get the sense that they don't want to fuck around with any sort of fights happening before the actual fights begin. Um, so they are protecting each other from each other. But the guards bring you into one corner of the room. There's a, a, some chairs set up. It's, it's not terribly uncomfortable. It's not the most comfortable place in the world, but it does feel somewhat relaxing, like backstage before a concert. Is there anything you guys would like to do? I'm just going to make sure, you know, that, like, my red helm is on. Um, I'm going to have the blood glass lenses on underneath, too, just to be safe. Sure, yeah. Um, and... It's weird, because, because the dread helm makes your eyes glow red. Because of the blood glass lenses, your eyes look, like, magnified and almost, like, bizarrely flat. Like, the lens themselves have turned red. So it kind of gives like a weird sort of intimidating owl-like appearance. You look like a heart wish. <laughs> uh, hey. Fuck. All right. Anyway, um, that's kind of a buzz. All right. All right so, <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I'm also just gonna make sure like my armor, you know, the straps are all tight and everything. The shield is, you know, sturdy. Yes, and... new armor, so it's you're still sort of getting used to it, but it fits nicely. Alexios knows what the fuck he's doing. He's been around you long enough to know your measurements and know how your body works and how you like to move. And your breastplate feels like it was custom made for you, which it was. It feels nice and it looks beautiful. And with the three of you in your custom breastplates, it really does look incredible to see just how different they are but how well made they all are. Nice, nice, nice. I want to chest bump the boys. <laughs> Plank. <laughs> Plank. <laughs> uh, how long is it going to be between each round? Do we know that? Uh, you don't know? It'll be at least an hour. Okay, cool. Never mind. You, you get the sense just due to numbers. There will probably be more time between rounds in the beginning that'll get shorter and shorter. Um, yeah. Just because there's more people to fight more fights to happen but even the shortest 
break will be at least an hour. Okay. Yeah. So essentially, um, you, you'll I, be able to get a short rest in each time. Can I go up to one of the guards that are Absolutely. around here? Yeah. And um, so where where do we make these bets? I haven't made any yet. You are a bit late to the party, but I can place bets for you. What would you like to bet? Demetri. Wait a sec. Can I insight check? <laughs> I don't want him to just steal my money. Sure, yeah. I don't know what this guard's name is. Uh, that was just an 11. 11? 50-50. He could be totally on the up and up. He could be absolutely full of shit. Mm. We talked to, uh... We talked to Trya and, uh... Semen and Emios, but we forgot to actually get them. <laughs> okay. Um, well... I believe you. Okay. Uh, placing... I'm gonna go low, because I don't want him to steal a crap ton of money. Uh, 20 gold on... on the hands of fate to win it all. Yo, can you put, like, 500 extra for, for us? Like, as a... You wanna use that as our party funds? I mean, I got the gold. Are you using that as your personal gold, or are we taking it out of the party funds? I mean, I would take it out of the party funds, but I do have the gold still. It's up to you, man. I'll use my own. Yeah, I'll give you 500. Okay, so is it going to be 500 or 520? Right, well, I'm putting in 20, and then Alexius is putting in 500. Okay. Sounds good. Let me shut oh, this down. Anybody else? Anybody else putting down any bets? I'm good. Um, I don't care. <laughs> yeah, screw it. Um, how much gold do I even have? Oh, and that's not a lot. I'll throw in twenty as well. Twenty I'll gold for Regent. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and Adagio. How much for Adagio? Okay. I lie. I'm gonna do twenty-five. Twenty-five for Adagio. All right. Nora's gonna go throw in fifteen then. 15 for Nura. Uh, real quick, I'm going to go around and hand everyone a potion of healing, just the basic one. Okay. So awesome everyone gift. gets one, and I'm left with one. I need to make more. <laughs> and I, I will remind you guys, just because, uh, because short rests aren't super common, especially in our games, uh, that during a short rest you can use your hit dice to heal without needing to use spells or potions or anything like that. But you only have eight hit dice total, and that those don't recharge until a long rest. So you ha- you have to ration those eight hit dice for your all of the short rest that you're planning to take. Just keep that in mind. Hey Sammy, with the healing potions, can we assume that I made some while we were on the ship? Because I just never got a chance to say I was going to make one for the day. Yeah. Okay. How much are they would have had the in gold each? Uh, what was it like fifty something like that? I don't remember. Let me look at the herbalism kit. I can just do that. Isn't it 25? Because it's cut in half. I think that's... I think... It's it's one of the two. I don't remember if that's for buying one or for making one. I have to look it up. It doesn't say on the herbalism kit. Let's let's say 25 and whatever. It's not the end of the world. And I would sit, well, after giving Ilme the gold, I'd find a corner and sit my sword on my lap and start focusing up. Okay. It's going to be a long day. My D&D Beyond is, like, freaking Mine out too. right now. Is Mine really? is too, to start with. Oh, no, is D&D Beyond having issues? That's not great. Well, well guess we'll figure that out, then. <laughs> um. <laughs> Oh, May, you, you collect this uh, bag of money and give it to uh, this guard. And he, he takes it and looks at the guards next to him, sort of puts it in a pouch and goes, Right, I'm going to take a leak. Praise Nike, yes? They all sort of like nod in agreement and he, he walks Is there off any way I could follow him? Ranks. They close Thanks. ranks real quick. You can go ahead and make a dexterity check if you'd like. Yes. Uh, just a straight dexterity. Yeah, because this is, this is pure speed. Sixteen. Sixteen. Yeah, they you you manage to get an arm out before they almost crush your arm momentarily before they go. Hey, back in line. Dang. 
All right. Also, for health potions, everyone add two more because I just spent a shit ton of money to make a bunch of health potions. Bleep, 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 bleep. All three in total? Yeah, yeah, you got three in total now. Okay. So, after about 30 minutes or so, the guard does come back. Um, you see, like, one more group comes in. It does seem like all five of all five groups are now here. You don't see Paloma anywhere. It just seems to be the five groups that are challengers. Um, but eventually, Ringmaster Maynor comes in the room. He goes, Well, how are we all feeling this morning? Yes? Uh, mm, question. Well, we had a full house waiting for you all. What say we put on a good show, yes? Oh, you bet. All right. Um, the first task for us to do, I will bring all five of you out, all five uh, parties out onto the arena floor, and we will pull for slots. See what order it is that you will be fighting. After which, you will all return to this room, and then I will grab you one by one as your fights commence. Does that make sense to everyone? Fair. Wonderful. Yeah. Uh, now, uh, for our last minute recruits, um, where shall I say that you hail? I know you have experience in Delphi. Is is that where I should say you are from? I wouldn't be mad. Yep. Uh, sure. I mean, that's, I guess that's fine. Wonderful. Oh, yeah. That is oh, the easiest, easiest for all parties. All right. Uh, let me go warm up the crowd, and I will momentarily be back so we can pull slots. And he leaves. At that point, what had sort of been like a somewhat easygoing environment, if a little bit stressful, has become deathly quiet as everyone sort of realizes just how close we are to this happening. You take a look around Can we? and yeah, go ahead. I wanted to I wanted to investigate the other players and I'll be like, what am I looking at? Same mind. Around? I was about I was about to tell you. Um, Yay! Yeah. So looking around it's a, a very eclectic group here. Um, you see one group that seems to be the only all-female group. Um, you remember uh, that Maynor had mentioned that one of the groups was called the Scorned Women. Uh, they all look to be fairly beautiful, um, probably ranging from late 20s all the way to 40s or 50s. They they seem to have some sort of strong sisterhood bond. They're, they're in, a, in a huddle right now. As, as you look over at them. Um, very different types. Um, you see a blonde, a redhead, a brunette, but all beautiful, except for one. One is a, a blue dragonborn and definitely seems like the odd man out um, in, in their group, but doesn't seem to be treated any, any differently than the others. Um, you see another group, um, much more uh, aggressive looking group, uh, you see some men, some women, uh, a bunch of uh, various different races. Um, they all have a sort of intense look in their eyes, and you see along their necks jewelry. Um, very bizarre jewelry, uh, also as earrings, and some of them have them as rings or bracelets, but it looks like they are decorated with eyes. Um, dried eyes, pupils, eye imagery. Um, they seem pretty intense. Um, you see another group that is very easily identifiable. They're all uh, in these rather bizarre contraptions. You, Many of you have seen wheelchairs before, but these are unlike wheelchairs you've ever seen. Alexios, you would probably know a bit more than the others, uh, as these are an Alcmenos invention. Um, he spent a lot of time trying to figure out how to uh, ensure that anyone that uh, is in a wheelchair doesn't have any sort of difficulties that people who aren't in wheelchairs don't have. Um, so he spent a lot of time trying to make sure that any type of person that is in a wheelchair is able to do whatever they'd like to do. Um, so you see, like, one wheelchair has uh, daggers attached to the wheels at different angles, and as, as the woman spins her wheels, she always has a dagger within arm's reach. You see another has uh, plant life and vines growing around. It looks a very, a very natural looking wheelchair. Other, others you see battle axes. Like there's, there's a whole variety. And it looks like all of these were like custom made for these types of, of fighters. 
uh, and they, they seem to just be rather cordial and friendly towards each other. Um, you see some of them look like they are amputees, others potentially just paralyzed, or, or you, you don't really know. Um, but they're pretty cool looking. Um, you see um, the, the last group, very easily identifiable as Spartan soldiers. Um, they're still wearing their Spartan uniforms, but they have now done themselves up with war paint as well, which is not what you would normally see from Spartan soldiers on patrol. Uh, but especially Ryujin, you would know seeing Spartan soldiers like this means that they are preparing for battle. Um, this red war paint uh, in various designs and geometric shapes all along their body. It's a very intimidating look. Um, but they do keep looking over at you, Ryujin, at your dread helm, and they seem to uh, to appreciate the, the fearsomeness that, that it provides. And then there's you. Mo most of you dressed in new armor with shields and weaponry. Probably the youngest overall average group here. But after a few minutes, Menor returns and goes, All right, will all of you please follow me? And he escorts you all down a long tunnel. You leave the warmth of this room that you've been staying in. And as you walk down this tunnel, you can hear the echoing footsteps of all of you as you walk. And then you hear this gentle roar. It gets louder and louder until you realize it's not a roar at all. It is a sound of an enormous crowd. And suddenly you're blinded by the light as you step out onto this enormous circular battlefield. And all around you, up on these stands and bleachers, are millions, not millions, but like it feels like millions of people all around. You see sections of blue, red, and purple that you assume to be the armies of these various alliances, but a whole mass of multicolored everything. You don't even know where the Tromokratis people are. You don't know if uh, Helm is there representing Alcmanos. You know nothing. All you see is a sea of energy just gently moving, almost like waves in the ocean, all exciting, all screaming. And you hear Maynor as he taps his voice and he begins to speak much louder than a natural voice he goes ladies and gentlemen fighters and Eurasians, welcome to the race to olympus this deafening cry amongst the crowd goes, the first thing we must do is determine who shall fight and when May I have one representative of each of my fighting parties step forward? I'll nudge Alexios. <laughs> All right. You see four other people step forward. Manor pulls out a pouch from his sack and sort of shakes it. He goes, In here are the numbers one through five. The order will not change from round to round. Let us start with the newcomers. Due to an unfortunate illness with the Golden Hope, we have found the Hands of Fate, the Slayers of Dragons, hailing from Delphi. Give them a round of applause. You hear a gentle, nice, encouraging round of applause as he opens this pouch and hands it to you, Alexios. I'm gonna have you roll a d10. If you roll a one through a five, that's gonna be your order. Six through 10, it's the same thing. So six would be a one, seven would be a two, etc. Go ahead and roll. Two. Two. Hands of fate. You guys are going second. I will roll for the others now. Uh, he goes over to the scorned women. And you see the uh, the red-haired woman reaches into the pouch. She goes, the scorned women from Olympia. Everyone cheers. <laughs> they are number three. Next, he goes to the, the aggressive looking people with the eye uh, jewelry. He goes, the eye catchers from Pylos. 
not nearly as as uh, loud as the scorned women got, but you're not quite sure what the level was in terms of them versus you. Uh, so, then, so they have to roll again. Nine. So they are number four. Five catches. And now, the local favorites, the lightning chasers of Vultura. Immense, deafening screams. They're definitely the favorites of the people. Maybe just because they know them. They're going first. Are we the underdogs? You are the last minute additions, but people know that you guys killed a dragon, so you're not necessarily the underdogs. Mm. Uh... And that means the swords of Menelaus from the Spartan army will go last. You hear, for the, for the first time, some boos. As, as it sounds like the other two armies are booming, but the Spartans are cheering wildly. Part of me is like, really wants to cheer right now, because, you know, I'm just like, Spartan, but... Fuck it, I'll just like, like bang my trident into the ground a little bit. For sure. Yes. Thank you, one and all! Now, let us prepare for the first fight in the first round. Our parties versus beasts. So, long round of applause as Menor gestures for you all to walk back into the waiting area. Once again, you walk down this tunnel, the screams of the crowd echoing behind you. Find yourselves back in your corner with the Spartan guard, or the, the Volturan guards around you. Maynor comes in one minute later and goes, Right, well, lightning chasers, follow me. You see, they sort of look at each other, seem to come to some sort of understanding, and begin rolling their ways down the tunnel. It's only in the minutes afterward that you realize just how long that tunnel is because you hear absolutely nothing so for everyone else's fights i'm just going to roll a d20 to see overall how they performed in that fight so i will roll now for the lightning chasers in round one natural one yeah where are you? <laughs> They're dead. They all died. <laughs> they oh all fucking God. died. Man. I, can we say they didn't die? That seems a little... Uh... <laughs> no, they, didn't, they didn't all die. Um, Most of them are dead. A little much. <laughs> Man, that sucks. You know there's all these these people on Twitter who like hate the idea of wheelchairs in D&D. &D, they're always like, like oh, it'd be so stupid. Like, Why couldn't someone just blah, blah, blah? And like, they fucking die in the wait first a minute. round. Wait a second. <laughs> wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. We're fixing this. Wait a moment. What? Are you gonna are you gonna do advantage? <laughs> yes. <laughs> all right, sure. Better. Sure. <laughs> okay. All right. So. Okay. Nora is like like the the leader at this point, just like with the thumb up or <laughs> yeah, down. Yeah. <laughs> all all right, right. So. So did they do better at least? It takes it takes several minutes. But eventually. You hear the sound of wheels rolling towards you, and you see the remainder of the lightning chasers come back to this room. They are clearly bloodied. They are clearly sort of like high on the energy of this battle, and one is very clearly injured. Um, still alive, uh, but you do see what looks like what was probably the druid or, or, or something, some sort of natural-based uh, fighter. It looks like one of one of the wheels on her wheelchair is slightly uh, wobbly now, and you see one of her arms is completely covered in blood and is still sort of like seeping blood. Um, Maynor follows behind them, but as they get into their area, they immediately begin just tending to uh, her wound. She goes, I'm fine, I'm fine. No, it's fine. Look, you, this is clearly... Just go. I will be the one that doesn't go on to the next round. It's fine. It's fine. Just let me heal you first. And she, they, just be, they just begin healing each other. As they normally What would have happened if you kept that one? <laughs> at, probably one of them at least would have died. Okay. Okay. Yeah. They all come back and have like severe <laughs> like. <laughs> they all come back like, yo, this was a mistake, dude. <laughs> <laughs> 
a little foreboding for the druid of us that their druid is the only one who got severely injured. (laughs) I mean, they do all look like they have scratch marks, potentially bite marks on them. You're not quite sure what it was they were fighting, but it it looks fearsome. Um, But Maynor, after making sure that everyone's okay, goes, Alex the Lion. (laughs) Goes, right, I believe that leads us to the Hands of Fate, yes? Are you ready? Follow me. Can I turn invisible as we're walking out? Sure. Absolutely. Cool. So they can't see me. Can I I haven't snapped Kai into existence for a while. Can I just like have him just like chilling on my shoulder? What is going on? Oh, yeah, sorry buddy. Kai. You missed a lot. Minor goes, Oh, uh apologies. A uh, bit of a rules uh situation. You are allowed to summon whatever you'd like in the arena, but you cannot bring anything with you in the arena that is sentient. Henceforth, I went forge. Okay, so I'll just have Kai fly off then and just, like, do a perimeter, I guess. Sure. sure. I don't know. I'll just keep watch. <laughs> He'll hang out with Forge for a bit. They'll have bonding time. <laughs> right. Can I give uh, Nyx to Kai and have Kai take care of Nyx? Yeah, so uh, yeah, sure. to the crowd, it looks like some pl- blue demon thing is clutching this black cat and just like flying <laughs> off into the sunset. <laughs> Amazing. I'd like to add my raven. <laughs> but he, or can just fly. Like... he can fly with Kai. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the raven is trying no. to hold Kai. It's a very weird situation. <laughs> <laughs> Like when you come out of the tunnel and the doves, just you release the doves. (laughs) So, when you get to... (laughs) Isaac, what are you doing? Isaac, (laughs) Jesus! You were shaking your camera! (laughs) I'm cutting something on the damn desk, I'm sorry. Alright, so, when you get to the mouth of this enormous uh, entryway into the actual arena, Maynard holds up a hand to just have you wait in the wings as he goes out to introduce you. He goes, um... Dragons in Delphi, perhaps. But they're on the Isle of Ares now. Let us see how the hands of fate fare. A round of applause as you guys enter. You see Maynard looks a bit concerned when he sees only four of you enter the arena. Um, Quiet now, because uh, where is your fifth? I'm going to go up and just tap him on the shoulder and whisper <laughs> in his ear, I'm right here. All right. No funny business. And he walks back out. Did As he, like, hear... walk out or, like, gladiator jog out? You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Listen, you can go ahead and make a charisma check. I okay. feel like we should just calmly okay. walk out. With no, 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 no. <laughs> okay, well, I'm, I'm pretty sure that'll do it. I rolled 16, and charisma, a charisma check is going to be plus 7. So, 22. Oh, yeah. Wait. I mean, listen, at yeah. this point, this is this is nothing new to you. This used to be your profession. You know how to work a crowd. You hold your trident up high as you do a, a small little circle you smile and sort of accept this praise on you as people cheer for you. I'm but smiling, Maynor, but they can't see it because I have yeah. the dread. <laughs> yeah. And you see, actually, so the way this arena is set up, it's basically all uniform seating, except for one raised area that is sort of separated from everything else. And you see, sitting on a, uh, a very exquisite-looking bench, almost uh, throne-like, is a very small girl, um, maybe just around eight, with a very oversized crown on her head that seems extremely uncomfortable to her. At her side, uh, Alexios, you would know this man, but no one else would. Um, You can't tell if he's maybe a gnome or a dwarf. It's hard to tell because he's entirely decked out in this incredibly uh, intricate armor, and he wears this steel mask over his face that Alexios, you recognize immediately as a mask marking him as a fortbred. Um, And you would know, just because you spent time here, that this is almost certainly Peron Kingzai, the Fortbred, who was the um, personal bodyguard slash spiritual consultant of the king before he died, and is now, you assume, playing the same role for the young queen as well. Um, And they are the two that are sort of uh, in the seats of honor. As Maynor 
leaves back where you guys came, you hear the as this enormous gate closes behind you. As we're then, walking, go. Do yeah. I see Paloma anywhere, like in the stands towards the? Uh, make a perception check with disadvantage, just because there's just so many people. Uh, what's tw- seventeen? Seventeen. You see a lot of purple hair, but you don't know really what Paloma looks like besides the purple hair, so it's really hard to tell. Okay. But you stand there alone on this battlefield before you soon begin to hear the sound of, on the far side of this arena, a gate beginning to open. You see only darkness beyond it. And then you see a figure emerge. Orange fur, but striped with blacks and whites. Two enormous fangs coming from the top, overlooking its chin. Beside it, another identical saber-toothed tiger as they both pad onto this arena and then behind them you see another figure begin to emerge an enormous mane at first you're like oh shit teos no this creature is walking on all four legs with an enormous mane and tawny fur you see a male lion begin to come out followed by not one not two, but five lionesses as they all emerge on this battlefield. Can I just, I like, have... lightning bolt as... as they're coming out of the gate? Said, Everyone before... roll initiative, please. Fuck. Before <laughs> initiative, I was going to put starry form oh, off, okay. but okay. Nah, I, this, is, this is all happening basically at the same time. Uh, I got a dirty 20. Hold on! I got a got natural it. one. Woo! Hey, you you're continuing you the tradition. All Maybe that enemies. means I won't. Okay, anyone over 20? 21. 21. Okay. Hey! Hey! Uh, I'm probably first, Ilme, Ilme, you technically go first because your dexterity is higher than Anora's. Uh, but if there's any sort of like combo moves you guys want to do, just be aware that's something that you can theoretically do. Ilme, Anora. Uh, 20 and 15. 19. 20. 20 for Regen. 19 for Alexio. So, wow, you guys are all super clumped up, huh? <laughs> and uh, Adagio, plus your dexterity, what'd you get? I got a two. <laughs> two for Adagio. Woo! All right, let me roll for these lions and tigers here. Welcome to my lions world, Lions and bud. tigers and bears. Oh, oh my. my. I said it first. Oh, fucking God. <laughs> Where the fuck that is? Is that the Grim Reaper? Ah. All right. So, first up, Ilme. The floor is yours. Okay. I am invisible. You are invisible. Cannot. That is true. Okay. So let's move closer. Go ahead, okay. ju- just because you're going to be moving and doing things while invisible, go ahead and make a stealth check at advantage, just to see how well you can maintain being hidden. Okay. Oh, <laughs> of course, they're both threes, but my stealth gives me a 14. I shit you not. So both both the lions and the tigers have advantage on perception checks that rely on smell, which is what I just rolled, and I rolled double nat twenties. <laughs> oh, oh my no, god, Sammy! You. Oh dang! Okay. Your invisibility means oh. nothing. <laughs> so it's it's less so, it's less so shit. that your that your invisibility means nothing, but the sort of like gravelly rock sand esque uh, floor that you're standing on crunches with every step. So there's not much you can do to hide that. Whatever. I can at least... Oh, I still need something. Okay. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 40, 45, 50, 40. Sure. Okay. Pulling out my good old crossbow. 
And I'm going to use my uh, plus one bolt okay. that I have so that, yes, I want to use that because I'm within 30 feet, hopefully. Uh, which one are you targeting? Uh, tiger two. Uh, you are not 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, uh, 30, 35, 40 feet away from Tiger 2. Dang. Okay. Uh, fine, I'll use my bonus action to uh, dash, get a little closer. Okay. Boop, boop, boop. Uh, that's good enough then. Now I'm within 30. All right, go ahead and fire. Okay. That is... A 19 to hit. 19 hits. Go ahead and roll damage. Yes, and it's an auto crit because of assassinate. That's exactly right. Woohoo! So that is what? What's my how much? Four, five. Okay, so ten d6. Well, oh, hold okay. on. Um. Do I do my sneak attack too? No, because you are not hidden from this uh, creature. Dang so it, just, okay. It's just the normal attack. Yeah, sorry. That's okay. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I'm wrong. Because that should have had advantage. Your attack should have had advantage. And you can go ahead and roll advantage just to see if you don't get a nat 20. Because you have advantage on, on attacks against creatures that haven't gone in combat yet. Oh, yeah. And having advantage does give you sneak attack. Okay. Well, it was not a nat 20, so... Okay, so go ahead, roll the double damage, plus your sneak attack. Yay! Cocked. <clears throat> a 10. 19. 20. 2. 23. 33, plus 4, 37, 39, plus 6, 39 45. plus 6 is 45. Woo! 45 piercing damage. You fire your crossbow. This tiger is just sort of like surveying the scene and gets him right in the neck. He's... Only eyes for you. Anything else, Ome? That is all I can do. Anora, you're up. All right. Uh, which one was the big lion again? Um, the the male lion is lion number one, but the, they're like, they're actually the stat wise are the same. Okay, so at lion number one, uh, first I'm gonna take starry form archer as a bonus action. All right. Let me do that real quick. If D and D and Beyond will let me click on wild shapes, um, all right. And then I'm going to cast Guiding Bolt at first level using my star map go at ahead. line number one. Line number one. Go ahead. Right. Hey, it was a nat twenty. You fucks. <laughs> hey, all right, you go ahead. Double that damage. damage. That's eight d six then. Uh, is it 46 level 1? Yeah. Oh, yeah, go ahead. I think, yeah, it's 46. I had to think for a second there. Gotcha. Let me use my Percy dice for this. I have good reason to use it now. <laughs> I'm going to use my golden one in honor of the golden hope, I guess. Aw. I'm being very particular about dice. I don't know why. <laughs> and Ryujin, you're up next. Okay. He's, he's eight. Ooh, that's nice. So 12, 18, 28, 38, 42 points of radiant damage from that. Ooh. And then I've glowing. still got, it's glowing and I've still got the damage from the bonus action, which now has advantage. That's true. Go ahead. First one was a seven. It was an add twenty. Ah. Shut up. Yeah, do ah. it. Whatever. So that's two d eight plus four. The four doesn't double. It's just the d eights, right? Correct. Yeah. Okay. I do these two. Oh, that did not roll. I got caught on the side. Okay. 
Seven plus six is 13 plus four. 17 more points of radiant damage. So with your first strike, you just send this star map energy guiding bolt into this male line. You see it hit its head and it almost recoils as the mane just begins to glow this enormous, beautiful golden light. And then you send another golden beam of energy, almost like an arrow of light, as you fire it right down the snout of this lion and it just falls dead. Is it dead? Yeah! Everyone, put, put those Anoras in chat, man. Yeah. Oof. I needed a redo after the fact that I keep dying. <laughs> All right, is that your turn, Anora? Uh, and then with my movement, I have got 30 feet of movement, and I need Albert to load, and oh my god, this is small. <laughs> <laughs> you can zoom in. I, I'm trying to, but my computer's being weird. Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. I'm going to get right here. All right. Sounds good. That brings us to Reagen. Okay. So from where I'm standing right now. Oh, no. Nora, why? Okay. What? <laughs> no, you just moved into my my uh, what I was gonna do. It's fine. I'll I'll move to the side a little bit. Every time, you have to start I... telling me when you're doing these line things because I am always <laughs> in the way. We'll move right here. You trying yeah, to get all, that entire line in a lightning bolt? Um, I don't think I can get all of them. How how far does it go? Actually, no, I could. Wow. Crazy. It goes 120 feet. So if I were to move... 80, 80, 80, 5, 90, 90, yeah, you could get them all. Tiger right. 2, Lion 2, Lion 4, and Lion 6. Hold on, let me look. So I was right here, so if I move to... Where did I see it? Right here, 25. Uh, I already forgot where I was going. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. Alright, that's 20 feet away. Let me just this quickly yeah so from where i'm standing right now i will cast a uh, lightning bolt okay so you can definitely hit these four here okay all right is that a, a deck save from them that is gonna be yeah dexterity 15 uh on a success they take half as much gotcha all right let's see how they do first i'll roll for the tiger that is a 15 exactly. Is the tiger within 30 feet of me? No. Damn it, okay. Sorry, I was going to subtract. 40, 40, 50. He's 55 feet away from you. Okay. Right, so the tiger succeeds. Lion number two is an 18. So the Fuck. first lion succeeds. Lion number, whatever that is, four. It's a natural 19. Jesus. And lion number six is a 14. So line number six fails, the rest succeed. Okay. So get, go ahead and roll full damage and we'll see how many, how much everyone takes. And that is 96. So, uh, you hear this? I do. Oh, <laughs> such a good sound. I'm usually on the other side of that. <laughs> All right. Uh, 10, uh, 22, 25, uh, 29, 33, um, three, nine, and so 42 damage. 42, isn't that exactly what Anora did on, on their first hit? Is How it? much was it? 42? 42? Yeah. yeah. That's crazy. Okay, so line number six takes 42, the rest take uh, 21. Okay. Oh, yeah. Hold on, let me Where are you? write this down a bit. I have his tiger number two as well. Okay, so for the first time, really, in its full glory, you send your lightning bolt as far as it can possibly go, and you see all of these large cats begin to seize up as the one in the back almost like entirely burns to a crisp, but it's still managing to hang on by a thread. But they all look fucking pissed and poofy. 
Um, and right. food. <laughs> Anything um, else, Reagent? That's the important part. Yeah, as my bonus action, I'm going to summon the tentacle. All right. There you go. You can place it wherever you'd like. All right. We'll just have that hanging out right uh, next to me right there. Because right, it just so takes up those four squares, right? It's not yeah, that's why I put the circle around it. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah. All right, that is Ryujin's turn. That brings us to Alekios. You're muted, Alexios. Yeah, I know. I was looking. Uh, I... I am going to move it about right here. All right. And I am going to cast Firebolt on Tiger 2. What's the range on that? 120. Oh, yeah. On Tiger 2? Go ahead and yeah. make your attack. Uh, that's a natural 18. That's going to hit. Go ahead and roll damage. Uh, and uh, 14 points of damage 14 points of damage all right it, it's it's taken it's taken a, a a nice solid beating here it looks like it is certainly not looking great especially compared to its brother on its other side uh anything else alexios uh no nah, i think that's all i got all right that brings us to the tigers. So. Ah, uh, shit. Um, hold on, before I move in. I don't like the way you said that, Sammy. <laughs> I don't like that laugh either. What kind of chuckle was that? That was like evil. That was evil, Where evil. Where did they go? So, Ilmay, as this first tiger begins bounding towards you, he gains enough speed and momentum that he actually, like, reaches up with its two claws and tries to pull you to the ground. I need you to make a, a strength saving throw, please. Oh god. Not Damn. not good at those. Wait, I never re-rolled Cosmic Omen. Let me see if I can help. <laughs> okay, I am even, so I can help. I'll add oh, a d6 to that. Oh my gosh. That was a five total. You are lucky, because it rolled a five on its attack. <laughs> Um, so as it, it, as it reaches out with its claws, you see it towering over you, and for a moment you're like, oh fuck, but you manage to dodge out of the way as its claws and its entire body just lands on the ground next to you. Um, okay, that is the first one's turn. The second one. Is gonna try something similar um okay does a 13 hit you nope all right so that one also <laughs> you managed to dodge out of the way they look pissed at you but they haven't managed to do any actual damage but it is now the lion's turn oh, this. alex the lion exactly that's exactly right um, I just imagine Teos in the crowd, you know, just like... He's like, my people! <laughs> He's like, it's just surreal. The lion is also, the lioness, now seeing that the male lion is lying dead on the ground, bleeding out onto this uh, gravelly floor. You see this lioness runs around and begins to pounce as well. It wasn't even me that hit that lion. Um, god, they're rolling like shit. Um, does a 17 hit? Nope! Okay, that one as well. <laughs> but you've got a lot more to choose from. Let's see. Oh, I know. 5, 10, 15, 20, Swear to god, I thought he 30, was gonna say the lioness cast cure. 40. <laughs> <laughs> All crap. right. It is also uh, going to try to hit you. I think you. we have a whole bigger problem than the lioness in general if they cast cure wounds. Uh, a dirty 20? Yes, that is. Okay. Uncanny oh. dodge, or whatever it is. 
Yeah. Uh, first, I need you to make a strength save. God, here As we go. As it also okay. reaches up and tries to pin you to the ground. You're just like, nope, 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 nope. 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 That, was a, that was a six total. I'll add to that. Okay. Uh, it's not gonna matter. Uh, uh, add six to it to make it a twelve. Okay. Um, first of all, just from the claw, you take five points of slashing, Ilne. Okay. But you are pinned down and knocked prone. Okay. Oof. So I, I couldn't, I... I couldn't use my, whatever it is to. Uh, to... I mean, you you can uncanny dodge some of that, some of the, the five damage, but you can't, you can't evasion yourself from being prone. If that's the question. Yeah, I just didn't know if because I was not prone, if the uncanny dodge would work. Yeah, you can still do that. That's fine. If you okay. want to uncanny dodge that five damage into two. All right, uncanny dodge that five into two. But you are now prone, surrounded by two tigers and two lions. <sighs> of course. This is like one of those that you see on like National Geographic of a bunch of like lions chasing down like like a gazelle or something. Yeah, you know? and they're like, oh my god, I can't look, I can't look, I can't look. Let's see here. I'm regretting my decisions from the first round now that I remembered that I prepared Call Lightning and this is the first time I could have actually used it. 45, 50. Yeah, I will, I will mention that it is an open open ceiling here. I mean, this hypothetically, you could use it right now still. Long jump Just may not feet. be. Wham! If I hit most of them, I would hit Ilme. Alexios, you see this lion yeah. running towards you, running towards you, running towards you, and then it just leaps into the air. It seems to almost sail before crashing down right before you and going to take a bite at you. Does a 20 total hit. No. Oh. You fuck. So <laughs> with your with your shield up, you and you you can feel the claws and the, the jaw against your shield, but you manage to just push it away. Um these. Um, you can also jump five. Just barely getting to you, Enora. Oh, God. As he also runs around the side of the stadium and leaps before landing in front of you. And he is also going to take, or she is going to take a bite attack against you. That is a 19 to hit. That, that hits. I have the lowest AC in the party now. <laughs> okay. Luckily, she's not trying to pin you. Uh, but she does, you feel her jaws close around your ankle. You do take seven points of piercing damage. Okay, right, cool. This God, one... Dang old dang ankle biters. <laughs> you can only get to there. Okay. There are lions in the sky. Okay. That brings us to Adagio. I'm glad I rolled a two for initiative. <laughs> I'm all the way over here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, da, 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 da. Where am I? Can I do anything cool? Who knows? Let's find out. Eh, eh, do I want to? I don't want to. Um, wow, I'm going to zoom in. This is. Yes, definitely zoom in. Everything I highly changed. encourage you zooming in. <laughs> I very much was like, okay, cool, I'll rest for it. And now it's like, um, I only have like 30 feet of meat in it, please. <laughs> <laughs> 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, I guess I'll just attack this first line over here. Line number four? Yes. What um, are you attacking I'm gonna with? Go on this side. Um, I'm going to go into a rage and then I'll swipe with redemption. Okay, you do have advantage because you are flanking it with Anora. Oh, say less. Where is my redemption? Okay. That is a 20 unnatural. That hits. Go ahead and roll damage. Uh, I'm just going to press it on the end of the game. <laughs> roll that for me, please. Please, seven points of damage. Seven points of damage to that lion. You got it. <laughs> Radiant energy just <laughs> fires off for him. <laughs> Anything else? Oh, that was my bonus action, my full movement That was your bonus speed. action and your action, yeah, unless you yeah, want to move anymore. <laughs> All right. Nah. 
That brings us to the top of the round. Ilmay, you are prone, surrounded by these ferocious cats. What are you going to do? Yeah, so I'm going to get up. Sure. Half your movement to get up. Yes, then I'm going to use uh, my bonus action to disengage. Smart move. I would I would recommend it. <laughs> yes, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. That's good enough. And uh, I guess I will fire my crossbow, still using the plus one bolt. Okay. Still have a couple left. And I'll just do it at line three. Line three, you got it. Go ahead. Um... Using the plus one bolt, does it give me a, an extra one to hit as well? Or That's correct. Yeah. Okay. Plus one to hit and plus one to damage. Okay. So that'll be 17. 17 hits. Go ahead, roll damage. All right. Not that much anymore. Yes. Just a normal whatever. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> of course. I rolled a one plus six. Seven oh. points. Hey, better than nothing, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Your arrow. She hits this lioness, and you see the blood beginning to form on, on her tawny fur. Anything else, Ome? Uh, that is it. All right, I'm, Anura. I guess I can move. I'm going to move 10. Yeah, you can, keep, you can keep moving, yeah. Anura, okay. you're up. All right, okay, okay. Finally, I get to do this, since I tried to cast it five times without <laughs> actually being outside. I'm going to cast Call Lightning at third level. Okay. So it is a cylinder with sixty feet, a sixty foot diameter, I think. Yes, which is a hundred twenty a sixty oh, foot no, diameter, sorry, or sixty foot a radius. Sixty foot radius. Holy yeah, so shit! It, that's yeah, big. it covers the entire battlefield. I believe the battlefield is, is like a hundred and thirty across. So it's basically oh, the entire battlefield. We're all Can gonna I center it where it doesn't hit the party? Um, I let me double check. I let me because I think can you determine who it hits? If I can, then I'm going to make it cover everybody, but I didn't know if I could. Uh, when you cast a spell, choose a point you can see within range. A bolt of lightning flashes down from that point. Each creature within, okay. Five feet of that. Yeah, so essentially it's just saying, like, y- you have the ability to put that point anywhere on this map, essentially. Oh, um, okay, cool. So you, you put your hand into the air, and on this beautiful clear blue sky, suddenly this storm cloud begins to form, and you see thunder and lightning. And as Anora just puts down their finger and points towards spot, one spot, which is where the spot be between those lions, where it hits all four of them because they're like, all within like five where uh, where Ilmay just was. Yeah. Gotcha. As Anora lowers their finger to there, you should see, and this lightning bolt right there. Okay. Uh, must they must make a deck save? Okay. Yep. Uh, we'll start with Tiger number one. A natural four. That's a failure. Tiger number two. Natural four. That's a failure. Lion number two. Uh, is a natural seventeen. So that succeeds. That succeeds barely. Lion number three is a eighteen total. Oh, fucker succeeds barely. So the lions succeed. The tigers fail. Go ahead and roll three d ten. Yep. And you are now concentrating. Yep. 9 plus 10 is 19 plus another 5. 24 points of lightning damage in total. 24 to the tigers and 12 to the lions. Yep. Okay. So then, this, this lightning strikes and you see all of these already somewhat electrocuted big cats get even more electrocuted and you see uh the already previously wounded tiger just completely combust into electric energy nice so we said the tigers uh failed and the others succeeded right that's correct yes okay so then the damage that i get from starry form i'm going to pass that at tiger one okay Go ahead. Uh, that's a dirty 20 to hit. Yeah, that hits. And a D8. That's a good D8. This is a good D8. Uh, 12 points of radiant damage. 12 points on the tiger. All right. 
So I just remembered <laughs> Yeah. that I was prone, so I couldn't move as far as I did. Oh, that's right. Yes. So, so you could go ahead and move, move yourself back, but you, you still would have been out of range, so that's fine. Yeah, I would have been out of range. I think yeah. right here. That's 20. Yeah, I think that, that looks about right. Yeah. Okay, is that your turn on Nora? Uh, yes. Ryujin, you're up. All right. So I am going to move right here and cast Lightning Bolt Again. through this line here. So five, three, and one? Yep. All right. Deck save for lion number five is a 17. Passes. Lion number three is a 15. By the skin of its ass. <laughs> and tiger number one is a 14, so I think that fails. Fail, yeah. All right, so All right. go ahead and roll damage. Wow, this is such a good sound. I love this sound. <laughs> Except when Sammy's making it, then it's not good. <laughs> That's when it gets scary. All right, so 10, um, 20, 30, 5, 35. 35 total, so the tiger takes it all. Okay. That tiger's having a rough day with lightning. For sure, for sure. Um, and He's like, am I fighting Zeus? What the <laughs> hell's going on? Um, and the others take 17. So that's line number five takes 17. And line number three takes 17. It's math, math, math. Okay. All right. They all look fucking pissed. Um, anything else, Ryujin? Um. Fuck, is Tiger 1 still up? No. They're, they're much stronger well, actually... than the lions. So. If I were to move my tentacle line number five, would I be able to make an attack right off the bat? Yeah. I think I can. Yeah, that's okay. that's part of its charm, yeah. <laughs> yeah, then I'll move it uh, right there. And I'll make a swing at line number five. Go ahead. All right, that's 18. Uh, and then what I add, I don't think I add the plus seven to that, do I? I believe you do add your spell attack bonus, yeah. Oh, okay, then. Um, I mean, yeah, it, it hits. Go ahead and roll damage. Yeah, 25. And I'm pretty sure that's just like a D6. That's just the dice, yeah. Whatever the, whatever the die is, that's all, that's all it is. There's nothing added to it. Uh, oh, no, it's just a D8 yeah. for cold damage. Three. All right. Hey, better than nothing. Three hit points have made or braid many a fight. <laughs> okay. What that's was it. that? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> that's it for region. Alexios, you're up. With a lion okay. in your face and a tentacle by your side. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna attack the lion twice. Can I flank with a tentacle or no? Uh, it's not a creature, so no. Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna attack lion five. What What are you wielding? Uh, a longsword. Longsword, gotcha. Go ahead, with one hand, because you have your shield up, right? Yes. Go ahead and make your attack. Okay, so... What's 12 plus 21? That hits. Go ahead and roll damage. And the uh, other one is natural okay. 7. Natural 7? Yeah, no. Uh, we'll... Natural 17. Oh, yes. Both hit. Go ahead and roll damage. Uh, and it's D8 for... Yes, a D8 for one-handed. Okay, so the first one is six damage. Okay. And the second one is... Oh, I'm sorry. The first one was eight damage. Gotcha. And the second one... That's 13. Okay. Um, okay, that line is definitely looking rough. Anything else, Alexia? Oh, wait. I forgot to add the extra one. So what was it? So it would have been it an extra was, would be plus two. An right? Extra one. This is extra one for uh, the infusion. Extra one each, you mean? Yeah. So two again? two extra points of damage. Yes. Sorry. Gotcha. It's looking real, real rough. <laughs> All right. Which? What about the infusion? Um, 
He has an infusion on the longsword that makes it plus one, right? Yeah. Oh, wait. Didn't you put that infusion on the trident? <laughs> no, it's a different one. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Gotcha. So, how many infusions do you have up? You have one on the trident, one on the longsword. What's the other one? One on my shield. Gotcha. Makes sense. All right. Uh, that brings us to the remaining tiger, who will just pounce at uh, Ilmay since she's there and it's angry. Um, all right. That is a uh, 23 to hit, Ilmay. Yes. Uncanny dodge. Okay. As it reaches out with its claws... Uh, that is going to be 10 points of damage, half to 5 with your uncanny dodge, as you feel this painful claw mark just scrape ac across your back. Um, okay, and that brings us to the lions. Um, this lion will come forward and also attack you at advantage. Um, that is a dirty 20 to hit. Yep. And it bites out at you for uh, 10 points of piercing damage. Okay. Uh, this lion... Let's see how it goes. Um, well, lion number five is definitely going to hit you, Alexios. So it's going to bite at you. Natural 20. Take that, your fucking 20,000 AC. <laughs> Um, all right, so it bites out at you for um, 14 points of piercing damage, Alexios. Now, this lion... Let's think here. Okay. Okay. Uh, so line number two is going to make an attack on Ilmay at advantage, a bite. Uh, that is a 16 to hit, Ilmay? No! Okay. Uh, so you managed to dodge that bite by just sort of, like, bumping into the saber-toothed tiger. Like, ooh, sorry. Um, line number four is going to attack Anura with a bite. That is a natural 17 for 20, uh, that 22. That definitely hits. All right, that's going to be seven points of piercing damage to you as it bites out at you and sort of, like, rips a chunk of your arm. Um, and Adagio, line number six, is going to bite out at you. Warning, Warning Flare, you said? Yeah. Okay, that makes it only a nine. So you see its jaws just reach out and you immediately just poof, and, and it totally misses you. All right, I like how you Adagio. Had to question if a nat hit. Huh? You had to question if a nat seventeen hit because of everybody else's armor class. That's true. <laughs> um, I only right. have a fifteen. <laughs> Adagio, you're up. Can um, I ask a uh, quick question? Yeah, absolutely. So either I'm tripping myself out, or I don't know. I but I thought I used to have three spell slots. No. I have no? You definitely have Am I just to... freaking myself out? Yes. What okay. you're thinking about, you okay, also have your cool. pearl, don't forget. Oh, gotcha, okay. Yeah. That's probably what right. I was. Adagio, you're up. I'm gonna swipe at uh, four again with, with redemption, Jesus Christ. Line four, you said? Yeah. Go ahead. That's still advantage because we're flanking, right? Uh, You are still flanking, yes. Yeah. That's going to be, well, yeah, it's going to be a 26. For sure. Uh, what is that? Plus three? Oh, no. yeah. yeah. Uh, it's going to be eight in total. Eight points of damage. All right. Looking rough. Anything else, Adagio? Nah. All right. That brings us to El May. Oh, yeah? I'm uh, clang my, like, redemption against my shield and be like, <laughs> try to draw attention this way. Yeah, I mean, like, you have to sort of clang the hilt of it, because the actual sword yeah. has no mass to it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, clang, clang, clang. <laughs> um, 
Uh, Elma, you're up. Okay, I'm going to... And once again, uh, you find yourself surrounded by animals. Yeah, so I'm going to use my... Whatever it's called. Blanking Disengage. on the name. Disengage, yes! Yeah. <laughs> Disengage, and I'm gonna... Is this flanking? Or with Alexios? This point right here? Uh, yes, that would be flanking with Alexios. Cool! Flanking with Alexios. Pulling out my rapier and attacking. Alright, with advantage. Five. Whoop whoop! I rolled the same again! <laughs> on both of them! But I, it might hit... 18? Yeah, that hits. Go ahead and roll damage with sneak attack. Yes. This plus this plus that. Twenty one plus six. Twenty seven. Twenty seven. So as this line is completely focused on Alexios, you just sort of sneak up behind it, pull out your dragon tooth rapier, <laughs> grab the scruff of its neck, pull its neck back, and just... And you see its blood just begin to pour down its neck, almost covering Alexios in its blood as it just falls dead at your feet. Cool. And then I'm uh, going to use the rest of my movement to back away. You got it. Is she still that invisible? What, but, no. If I use an action or something, it, I'm not... Invisible yeah. anymore. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Five, yeah. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> okay. Uh, right there. I'm All right. Region. Sounds good. That brings us to Anora. All right. So the point I'm targeting for call lightning is where Ilme was between all of those lions. Sure. Uh, another deck save, target. right? Yes. All right. We're literally fighting Zeus right now. This is hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> All right, tiger number one. Natural seven, that's a failure. Lion number two, that's cocked. Natural 20 for lion number two. He definitely Lion saves. number three is a natural five. So two fail, lion number two succeeds. What, so wait, did the tiger fail or succeed? The tiger failed, and lion number three failed. Lion number okay. two succeeds. Okay, so that's six plus five is 11 plus seven. 18 points of lightning damage. Okay, so. Eighteen to lion number three, and nine to lion number two. Okay, so this bolt of lightning, and as the, the dust clears, dead tiger. Yes. Dead lion. Fuck yes, okay. Super fucking that injured other exactly lion. That's <laughs> exactly what I wanted to go. That's exactly what I wanted to fucking happen. Okay. And then for uh, lion two, I'm going to send the uh, starry form damage his way. You got it. Go ahead, roll damage or make an attack. Uh, it's a natural sixteen plus that eight. Hits. Yep, yep. Okay. Go ahead. D eight. Uh, that is going to be another eleven points of radiant damage. Just as it comes out of this lightning, <laughs> it falls dead. <laughs> oh, yes, I'm so happy I got to use call lightning finally. Anura cleaning up this fight. For now. Um, uh, right. Anything else, Anura? Um, that's about all I can do. Ryujin, you're up. All right. I'm going to move right here. And I will... I'm all out of spell slots, so I got cantrips and weaponry. So I will just Eldritch Blast my action. Um, do you want to stay out of melee for that so it's not a disadvantage? Where did I move to? Oh, I'm right next to it. Okay, hold on. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, that'd be good? Or is that... Yeah, yeah. Go ahead and make your make your attacks. Do you want both against Lion 4? Or do you want do you want to sort of feel it out as you go? 
Oh, I'll, I'll feel it out as we. All right, first one against Lion Four. Okay, uh, dirty twenty. I rolled a that 16. hits. Go ahead, roll damage. Okay. D10 plus four. Where's my D10? There. Eight, nine. Twelve damage. Twelve damage. It's exactly what you need. This Eldritch oh. Blast, this water energy just fires at this lion who immediately just curls over dead. And then I'll make the second attack, obviously, to the other. To the sure, other go ahead, go yeah. ahead. Um, That's a natural 19. Ryujin, take your moment. Okay. <laughs> do I, do I... Well, no, he had two hit points, so... <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Um, so you want me to roll damage anyway, just in case? Sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. of course. Yeah, that was an eight, so... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um... Okay. Yeah, I'll just like you know nothing, nothing too fancy. I'll just blast it in like the snout. You know, I want to get this over with. For sure. So as Adagio is fighting it with redemption, Adagio, you feel for a brief moment as if someone's giving you a wet willy, and you turn as this jet of eldritch water just fires past your ear and hits this lion. As you turn back to look, the lion is crumpled, dead. Nice. There's a brief moment. And then, as if you'd forgotten about the crowd, suddenly you hear this crowd erupt in cheers. You hear Menor as he comes back on the field going, The power of the gods! You saw it! We all saw it! Give a round of applause to the hands of fate! A decisive victory! Everyone's like, <laughs> As Menor ushers you all to back Man. inside, as you I see the, the other uh, gate begin to open and some... Volturans begin to sort of pull the bodies of these animals back through the gates. I wanted to like dismiss yeah. the storm. <laughs> yeah, the, the, unless unless you contain your you maintain your concentration, the storm does eventually pass. You guys make your way back through the tunnel, back into the waiting room. A decisive victory, less than a minute of a fight, as you all emerge victorious. But you know what comes next, which and you have some time to think about it. But one of you will have to step out for the next round. Wait, what are we fighting next? Really quickly, out of character. <laughs> Men. I oh, gotcha, gotcha. Yes. No problem. No problem. So, I think we're gonna take our break there. Uh, so we will be back momentarily with the short rest and then eventually round two, assuming you guys have made it through to round two. Um, we'll be back so soon. Can't wait to show you guys what they have planned. Uh, thank you for sticking around. We'll be back super soon. Don't go anywhere. Bye. And we're back. Thank you for sticking with us. Let's just jump right back into the game here. So now begins what is essentially a, a short rest for you guys um you can feel free to roll any hit dice you would like is, is anybody rolling hit dice right now okay ilme go ahead and, uh, and roll some hit dice um, i'm gonna roll one sure so as a reminder um you always add your constitution modifier to whatever you roll with your hit dice so Won't you look at that i got uh, all my spells back wow <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> wow. Must be nine. Well, I mean, you only have two of them, so. Yeah, I only get two. <laughs> like, hey. you, can all, you can all go ahead and take a short rest on D&D Beyond. If you are using hit dice, make sure you check off the number of hit dice that you're using. So you get, so you add your con modifier just to each die you roll? Or to just each to die. The... Yep. Okay, thanks. Okay, make a turn. Well, we got to decide who's moving on and who's not now. Um, um, as you guys do that, um, the next group is summoned to go, the Scorned Women. Um, so they are escorted out as you guys are resting. If you guys would like to talk, feel free. I'll stay behind. Uh, I have all of my spell slots and I prepared all the healing. So um, every between the rounds, if you guys need it, I could just boop you back up. Thank you. Um, 
So I'm also good. I used a total of one spell slot. And I just got my wild shape back. I'm not able to cast spells Isaac, through Kai, am I? I forget when I'm not, like... <laughs> Uh, and Ryujin, I believe you can only uh, cast touch spells as if Kai were you touching someone. I believe that's the case. And how do I, I know if it says if it's a touch spell? It'll say range touch. I don't have any touch spells. I have self. Oh, that's not the same thing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait, no, I just have to look. Whack. Range okay. touch would be like cure wounds. You need to touch the person to cure their wounds. Mm. Yeah. Can I give Kai armor back with this? <laughs> I mean, technically, I guess. <laughs> yeah. All right. So you guys, you guys have some time here to relax and to oh, recuperate. Um, I want to give Ilme my tiara a blessing. Okay. Isn't she wearing well, the blood glass that necklace? That'll, yeah, I can't use it with Can you use both? Yeah, that's right. I mean, I'll take it if, if you're... Wait, if you what's want this to... next round? I mean, yeah, Man, what if you get... I'm not using it anyway. Yeah, I mean, I only have two spells, so, like, I off the shit. Yeah, you can have it. The food is here. Ryujin gets to wear my tiara. All right, Ryujin, you could add a circlet of blasting to your inventory. I want that back. <laughs> okay, Do the I'll blood glass lenses uh, affect that? No, lenses are purely just for, like reactionary to eye based attacks okay you guys have a strategy going in or what absolutely not um no. also really quick we still have that goat thing oh my god Bro, well, I, mean, I forgot about that forgot what is that about do? that holy yeah because i'm the one that's holding it but uh i don't know when you want to use it because it's good for three hours what the fuck is it again i don't remember uh here i can tell you Remember, we have a goat statue that does something. Yeah, so we have the terror one, right? So it's a becomes a giant goat for up to three hours. The goat can attack, but you can remove its horns and use them as weapons. One becomes a lance plus one, and the other becomes a long sword plus two. Removing oh, a horn requires an action. The weapons disappear, and the horns return when the goat reverts to its figurine form. In addition, the goat radiates a 30-foot radius aura of terror while you're while you're riding it. Any creature hostile <laughs> to you that starts its turn in the aura must succeed on a DC 15 wisdom saving throw or be frightened for one minute. I think we, we should know. wait that off towards the end if it lasts three hours. If we cast it right before, if we use it right before the second to last round, it should be good for both rounds. I have a, I have a question. Alexios, what weapon are you using? Uh, my, my sword that I made yesterday. Is it, like, out of character? Is it, like, is it, like, plus one? Or is it... It's plus one and some more shit. Okay. It... Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a mundane longsword that is currently infused to be plus one. Hmm. Would you rather have that plus two longsword from the goat? Because we could, like, do that before, like, your big fight. Or something like so shortly before, and you get like a plus two sword instead if you want. Um, no, this has sentimental value. <laughs> okay. Um, but we have this thing to use whenever, so it should be good for two fights. Okay. Just in character, this is nothing to do with what we're doing. Anora is gonna be like, you know, how you said, ladies and gentlemen. And everybody's like, oh, call me by these pronouns and those pronouns. At this point, I just want to be pronounced dead. <laughs> Sorry, I had to. I could not when I thought of that. Boy. <laughs> Sammy, as every god, just thinks that can be arranged. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, have we decided who's going on and who's staying? Um, yeah, Adagio said he's going to stay out this round. Okay. Adagio's leaving? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. Do we have to leave the room, or can we still be in the room when, like, our party comes back? You have no idea. Oh, God. I guess can I'll ask? Back out. Can I ask? Uh, yeah, you can ask one of the, the Volturans guarding you. Yeah, I'm gonna ask. Sorry, what is the question? Uh, whoever does from our party who doesn't move on, can they still, like, be here to, like, you know, see that we're all okay and stuff like that, or do they have to leave this room once they drop? 
No, yes, there are spots in the arena, in the audience, for the people who have been eliminated. But they can't stay back here, like, to heal if they're not actually going out on the field? No, this is for contenders only. That sucks. Alright. Really, At what point do they have to leave? I'll give Adagio a hug. <laughs> Damn it, Ryujin. I'll, I'll turn the circle again. I promise. You will. Hopefully. Um, I can't so... move you guys if I'm not with you. Hold on. I just want to. I prepared it. Thing. I'm going yeah, to give him. I want to give him. How much? I want to give him 500 more gold. How much money do you have? Uh, listen, we've been rich for a long time, and I also make things, so I don't have to spend a lot of money. Yep. No, he's literally just been hoarding this whole time. Like, we buy swords and stuff and cool magic items, and he just, like, has it. He's yeah. Is this coming out of the party's fund or your fund? No, There's this fun. is mine. I'll I'll come come fuck? I never I'll had over, like, door, I only yeah. had, like, 600 gold. How the fuck did you have Think this about much it like gold? This. We've had 600 and then a couple hundred several times. Do you ever remember once Alexio spending money on magic items or potions or anything like that? Because I don't. I did buy a cat. <laughs> or anything. <laughs> I bought a cat. I anything. a herbalism <laughs> kit, so. <laughs> Alexio, Alexio, she's like can I have the most responsible to, financially uh, out of the group. To make healing potions? Huh? Can I have some of that money to make healing potions? I've been using my own fund for healing potions, so I only have like 100 gold left. Oh, I forgot to add those. Hold on. Oh. <laughs> I mean, or can I have money out of the party's oh, fund to make healing pass. potions? The healing potions to everyone else? Like, can I, I mean, it makes... Well, you've been taking money out of the party fund, too. No, I've been using my own money. <laughs> oh. There's yeah, just healing potions, right? Start using the... Use the party's fund. It's for oh, everybody. You're making it for everybody. Yeah. Can I steal some of that money back to replace what I've been using? <laughs> yeah, how much so I can keep track? Uh, I've been making healing potions, like, non-stop almost since we left, since we got from the Horde, so I've done at least 600 and just healing potions from my personal what do I time potions? to That's find fine. the potions of healing? Is it okay, healing potions? Okay, so I can add 600 gold back. Potion of healing. Right? Yeah. Yep, and okay. then I have already updated the bag of holding. Yeah. Right. And then in the future, I'll let you know when I make more potions. Yes. On D&D Beyond? Like, in the... Oh, I'm back above a thousand in uh, total for currency. That I feels nice after slowly all the dropping. potions. It just is potion of healing, is what it's called. It, yeah, yeah, it should look. It should look like a like a common item because it's it's it shouldn't be a fancy color. I don't see it. Just potion of healing. Yeah, it's just potion of healing. Yeah, mm -hmm. it, it doesn't pop up for me. I see greater, superior, and supreme. Are you? Are you looking only at magic items or something? Or do you have a weird, like... No. No, I'm just... I have the filter by type, the potion clicked, and I, even when I click common, just nothing pops up. Don't... It's not under potion. It's under gear, because it's Oh, common. there it is. Yep. Yeah. Cool, yeah, cool. it's, it's Thank something you. weird. Uh, add, Adagio, sorry, right? before Adagio leaves, can we get him to give back those potions to give to other people? Well, that's up to Adagio. Adagio, can we have the I potions? I already said I was giving it to everyone else. Rude. Oh, I didn't hear you say that. Yeah, who, who are you giving them to, Adagio? I'm going to give one to everyone who's not Anora, because Anora just has them. <laughs> I only have three. I split it evenly amongst well, the group. Well, heal yourself, I guess. <laughs> Damn it, I want to snatch them from my cold, dead hand. You're not dead. I could be. Someone can burn the crowd. I don't know. I got a thousand gold. Gets his throat <laughs> slit, pulls out a whole potion of healing. I have a question. If I die, can I, like, heal while I'm dying since I get healed by the sun? <laughs> uh, like, it, doesn't work, it doesn't work when you're unconscious, but that does remind me, you should, be, you should be getting one hit point back every round. Well, I haven't taken any damage. Like, I oh, just... Then, great. Well, uh, and I guess it doesn't really matter now, because you're out of the fight. So, never I'm mind. I'm out of the fight. <laughs> uh, just, but yeah, that, that ability only works while you're conscious. Damn it. 
Can we canonically say that's why he glows? Is because when he's at full HP, he just stores up that extra life yeah. energy and it just exactly. radiates out of him. When, and that's exactly. why he glows. So if you're yeah. injured and you're healing throughout the day, you don't glow when you're injured. Yeah, that's, that's the science of it. Exactly. <laughs> I'm yeah, glad you right. finally realized what I've been saying this entire time. time. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. So. Um, oh, wait. What if I have other gifts to give people? Oh, well, you, you can continue giving your gifts as time goes on. Uh, but just so you know, as time does go on, the Scorched Women take a very long time. A oh. very long time. Are they fighting beasts too? We all fight beasts. Everyone's right? fighting beasts, yeah. I'm gonna give. Are they the same beast or different? Oh, uh, you don't know. I guess I guess you'll find out when when Adagio watches the next round. <laughs> I guess. Um. um I, I, I was gonna give Anora the diamonds or the river of the fire because you oh, never know when you have to use multiple of those. I can only do it two more times. <laughs> oh, that's right. Then you're fine. I'll take them back. <laughs> yeah, I have three hundred. I need to keep one third level spell for specifically healing so okay. y'all i'm gonna miss you how many spell slots do you guys have just curious i have left or in total total um one, two, i have three. 10 in total it's only gonna make you feel bad region i've got 12 in total and that's not including the <laughs> three i get bullshit. so oh, that's not no. including the three uh charges of star or Guiding Bolt I get from the star map, the cast of Moonbeam from Underbrush, Hunter's Mark from the Dagger of Marking, and then Darkness and Hellish Rebuke <laughs> from Infernal Legacy. Listen, is, is it because I got Elder's Blast right off the bat as a cantrip? Yes. Is that why that, I'm that suffering that now? Fuck. Take it back, Sammy. It with me. I, looking Take at this back. now, um, they're cool stars, Druids. Get a lot more than I remembered. <laughs> yeah, they're cool. They're cool. Because you get a spell of those 46 slots from the beginning, ones. and it just keeps going. Eventually, as you guys are talking and splitting things up and all that sort of thing, you see the scorned women return. But only four of them. Oh. How many were there? Oh, one died. That's right. Five. Oh, man. No. <laughs> they look dejected. They're not talking to each other. They just go and they sit in their corner. Which one? Which one? Uh, looking around, it looks like uh, it was one of the brunette women. I thought you were going to say the dragonborn. I was about to run out the fucking hall and use 300 <laughs> gold and diamonds on that motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even know her story. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> I Lightning get bow. being a weird color. <laughs> okay. After the scorned women, the uh, eye catchers get to go, and they are gone for a bit. They have jewelry around their eyes, right? They have jewelry of eyes. Oh, okay. Just like like rings and like earrings and stuff. Rings, or... necklaces, earrings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. It's Over. gross. Um, I like it. Oh, oh, wait, like like up. actual eyeballs? Yes. Girl, I thought you meant like like their necklaces were just like designed to look like an eye. No, I like mean they, you're I, unsure. <laughs> you're unsure until mm. they return fairly quickly with some fresh pieces Ew. in their hands, and they spend. So they got the rest to take of... souvenirs. Oh, yeah, that ass. They got to keep things, but I didn't get to take a suit. It's part of their battle strategy. Like as as uh, one uh, falls uh, uh, okay. and the <laughs> other ones are fighting, they rip out the eyes. Hmm. Gotcha. You know what? So as as they're resting, they're making some new jewelry as well. I'm gonna stay away from those, weirdo. And uh, they must have finally, some pretty high bring, bring perception, up, eh? Yeah, like hey, oh. um, bringing up the rear, the swords of Menelaus eventually go. Uh, they take a, a bit longer, but they emerge and they are chatty. Kathy is coming back. They're they're regaling how amazing it was to to fight these wolves and and how that one almost got you but i managed to fight it off and they're they're really it feels like you're in a locker room talking to them they're they're just like high on the energy of this battle wait um, these ones were the the who the swords of menelaus the spartan soldiers mm. i'm just like like holding in the urge to like speak to them you know sure. so just like just like what's up guys <laughs> All right, I'll so a solemn nod. That's it. Um, a... Eventually, Maynor comes in the room. He goes, 
Well, an exciting and he sort of looks at the squash, the uh, squad with me. Goes, exciting and tragic, first round. Uh, unfortunately, women, you did perform slightly under the curve, and it seems that the crowd has declared that you will be the ones to leave us for the next round. I do apologize. Uh, I will take this party back to the arena along with the members of the other teams that will be departing after the first round. If you'd all step forward, please. Come on. Step forward. Look behind me and be like, you got this. I believe in y'all. Sometimes. Wonderful. Can I snap? Can I, I'm not in like snap Kai at, like back, but invisible. Just on Adagio's shoulder. All right, sounds good. That feels weird. Did have Nick and Reed with him? You don't know. He might no, have dropped he them off. Dropped, <laughs> dropped Shit. Nick, okay, so he brings them with. He he brings them with. <laughs> so Adagio walks out with like a raven, a cat, <laughs> and something. Can I tell Kai to like transform into something? I mean, Kai, you. Can you... you... You can you can tell him. Ask him. You won't necessarily he won't an necessarily answer to you, but you could try. Uh, what if you turned into like a really cute frog inside of my lap or something? Hold on. <laughs> I think you can turn into a rat. <laughs> Damn it! I can oh. turn into just a, a rat, a raven, a spider, or a pseudo dragon, or a quas quasi quasi quasi. Quasit. Quasit. He's, he's already uh, imp. Yeah. All right. Okay. So, so something hold. Maynor goes, wonderful. If you would all follow me, please. And Adagio, he escorts you, a single Spartan, a single person in a wheelchair, and all of the four remaining scorched women, along with one person with eyes on on his jewelry, off into the arena where you do see there is a section of the stadium uh fairly close to uh the queen's station that is uh roped off and reserved and you all sort of file in there i want to sit next to the dude of eyeballs and the spartan sure you sit between them like wow these guys are big um <laughs> oh, all right man. so can we just say canonically adagio was doing the the, the shoulder thing too just like <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm hoping that like they'll look down at me and I'll catch eye contact and like make conversation. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> the eyeballs. <laughs> I collect horns. And teeth. <laughs> as as you say that, Maynor comes back out onto the arena floor, and you see waiting in the wings are the lightning chasers again. And he announces the beginning of round two. Our fighters must contend with men. Let us give it up. For our first champions, the Lightning Chasers. Ooh, yeah, Lightning Chasers. The Lightning Chasers roll out onto the field as the gate opens. Adagio, you see several cloaked figures emerge. And they look they look human. And you see one of them lowers a hood. And it looks like there is some sort of symbol that he has carved into his forehead, some sort of religious symbol. And they all remove their hoods. It looks like they are some sort of like religious fanatics or something. And they begin to fight. And you've never seen a fight like this, but these lightning chasers, they know how to work their machinery. And you, you notice like you're a bit worried at first because the ground is like somewhat uneven. There's bloodstains now in various different sp spar uh, parts of this. Um, but it looks like they're wheelchairs almost like hover just an inch above the ground so they seem to not terribly be affected by any sort of uh, terrain problems uh and they put on a good show but not a great show i just like start drawing scenes of whatever i'm looking at yeah for sure like a flip book when you guys win i'm gonna be like look at all the things i saw while you guys were in there yeah um so it is not a super easy fight for them. Um, it's a very long fight. It seems like these are fairly evenly matched foes. Uh, eventually they do manage to succeed in their fight, but they seem exhausted by it, and even the crowd seems to have been getting a bit bored with, with the fight by the end of it. Um, 
Maynor does escort them off. Uh, meanwhile, back in the waiting room, he comes back with the lightning chaser and goes, Right, hands of fate, are you ready? Probably. be. Follow me. He escorts you back down the tunnel. He comes out, he introduces you once more before leaving, and you hear the gate close behind you as the crowd is cheering for your name. I know and those the, guys. The gate opposite you opens. I mean, and have you a see. Question. Yeah. Since we took a short rest and yes. I did not revert my wild shape back, am I still in wild shape? Uh, how long does wild shape last? I've got it's four hours now. Um, I guess so. I mean, yeah. I, there's nothing that says that you can't can keep your wild shape during a short rest. And I'd say it's it's probably okay. just under four four hours that it's been. It's a long morning. Okay. Um, but yeah, I could say you can keep your wild shape up. Okay, cool. Just making sure. Sorry. Yeah. So. You see two... Oh, I'm invisible again. <laughs> as they're walking good. Defense mechanism. <laughs> you see two figures emerge from the gate. They have enormous great axes that they are just slinging under them. And you see they have javelins on their backs as well. You see the unmistakable form of Goliaths completely bald head to toe but heavily tattooed and this is not like Keth who you know from Delphi these are Goliath Goliaths they are strong and muscular they almost look like like they are made of stone until you see that they are just made of this grayish flesh Alexios you have seen Goliaths like this before these are mountain Goliaths from the isle born and raised in the wilderness of the Isle of Ares, some of the toughest environment there is. And you see between them, a human man emerges in colorful garb with uh, a shield and a spear. And you see immediately the crowd seems to react to this human appear as if they, they recognize him. Alexios, you recognize him. This is a very popular gladiator from Voltura. You've seen him compete many times. His name is Darren the Destroyer. And he is here now with these three men. So, can I have you all roll initiative, please? Isaac, mute yourself. Yeah. <laughs> Never. <laughs> you you can hear my arts and crafts projects. Oh my god. Uh, I want to be able to shout from the crowd. Another question, because I meant to ask about it earlier. Yeah. Um, with Wild Shape and, or, wait a minute, I'm looking at the wrong thing. What am I looking at? I'm looking, give me a minute. I was looking at something. I can't find it now. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. I found it. Uh, with Wild Shape and because I'm a circle of stars, Druid, one of the things with it is I can cast the Find Familiar spell and it basically summons a Fae as my familiar. Can I do that? Isn't that a That's ritual? a thing you can do. Uh huh. As an action, you can expend a use of your wild shape feature to cast the fine familiar spell without material components. Oh. oh. Uh, I mean, yeah, why not? Dope. Okay. Two familiars cool. in the party. But the I, will, I will say if you expend a use of your wild shape to do that, it would drop your current it would wild drop. shape. Okay. Cool. Yeah. That's what I was wondering. That's why I asked. There was, yes. there was reasoning. There was reasoning. Yeah, I got so, were they All saying right. that I, I can't have Kai because he's sentient? So I can't just like snap him in in the middle of the battle? No, no, they you said can you can, you can summon battle. whatever you'd like. You just can't bring something in that's sentient. But mm, you can summon him if you'd want. Yeah. But like with the Fae though, I could like make him like turn invisible and cast a spell on somebody from the stands in theory. You can? I don't know if the Fae can do that or not. I've never well, used this what, as a Fae. What, what, what Fae? There's a lot of different Fae. It just says, okay, the exact words. As an action, you can expend a use of your wild shape to, ca to feature to cast the fine familiar spell without material components. When you cast a spell in this way, the familiar is a Fae instead of a beast, and the familiar disappears after four hours. Gotcha. So, yeah. So, it's still just the normal fine familiar options. So, like, a okay. cat or, or, you know, whatever, whatever those are. Okay. But it is listed as a Fae. 
for terms like that. But like it, it has no special fey abilities. Cool, that's what um, I wanted to check and see. But I yeah. can still like cast spells through said fey. Not necessarily. Like that's spells. a warlock thing. Okay, I didn't know if that was a thing I could do or yeah. not. Yeah, go go ahead, go ahead and just like look up the find familiar spell because that's okay. all you would be able to do. Okay. Cool. Um, question. Yes. Well, kind of question. Um. So with seeing these Goliaths and the, their axes, we can we probably assume that they're like barbarians. Uh, you can assume whatever you'd like. You've never really seen Goliaths like this before. Okay. Um. Well, Why I mean, like a, as a as a player. Um. You can believe whatever you'd like. Okay, I'm just. What I'm are you getting at? Because um, uh, okay. Kai, if I were to have him attack, one of the things in his stat blocks is. Um, all of the imps attacks are considered magical for the purpose of overcoming immunities and resistance from non mag or to non magical or magical attacks. So, I, is it barbarians that are immune to like all damage except magical, or is or not immune but like resistant to all damage except no. magical? No. So there there, there, there are specific there are specific kinds of barbarians that can do stuff like that, but mm -hmm. the general rage feature just makes them resistant to piercing, slashing, and bludgeoning. That's all. Gotcha. It does. Yeah. So if it's a magical piercing attack, it's, it still works the same. It still works the same. So, it, so they wouldn't have a resistance to it, or they, they would? They would. They would still have resistance. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. It, the so... the magical versus non magical doesn't matter for rage. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah. Uh, the fine familiar spell is just the first level conjuration spell, right? Yes, that's it. Yeah, it has at the bottom of it. Finally, when you cast a spell with a range of touch, your familiar can deliver the spell as if it had cast the spell. Oh, okay, great. I've, I've only had warlocks with familiars. I've never had a wizard with a familiar before, so I don't actually know what's it, what's in the real spell and what's the warlock part of the spell. Nah, um, have you had another it. warlock with a familiar before, or am I the first one, Sammy? Uh, you're the second warlock with a familiar, actually. Who was the first? Now you've got a druid from the other familiar. campaign. This is weird. Who? Uh, Harmonia was my archfey warlock there, and she had a pseudo dragon. Yeah. Anyway, so anyone over twenty? Twenty-one. 21 Ooh. for both of you. Uh, Alexios, I think your dex is higher, right? I never rolled it, my bad. Yeah, it is. I got a plus 3. I'm Actually, let me, let me track. <laughs> yeah, it is. I have a plus 2. Fuck. Okay. Uh, 20 to 15. 19. What if, we, what if we both had a plus 3 dex? How would we solve it that way? <laughs> um, You could basically go in whatever order you'd like. Oh, okay. Yeah. 19. Did someone else say something? I had a 20. Oh, 20. Thank you, Anora. And that's it. Amazing. Wow, you guys have been rolling really good initiative tonight. Oh no, I've been rolling crap, but I just have a plus 10. Okay, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that brings us first to Alexios. It is your turn. Dang. I would have been ahead of Ryuji. <laughs> yeah, you guys you guys can, can put yourself in whatever starting position you'd like. You can put yourself up to like 25 feet away from the gate. Yeah, that's fine. The guy in the middle. What's the range on that again? 120. Oh yeah, you're fine. Alright, go ahead and make your attack. That's against the gladiator. Okay. 16? 16's exactly what you need. Thank you, plus nine. <laughs> And 14 points of damage. 14 points of damage, all right. First blood. As this little fire hits off the leather and shield that he has, you hear the crowd begin to chant. Anything else, Alexios? Uh, no, I'm just going to shoot the fireball from, like, the hilt of my sword, and then I'm going to open my arms and invite him over. Come at me, bro. For sure. You you feel like like you've seen Demetrios do that move before, so like, yeah. Hell yeah. Alright, Ryujin, you're up. So from where I'm standing right now, I can hit um, 
Goliath 1 and Gladiator with a lightning bolt. So I'm going to do that. Oh, yeah, for sure. You're like right in line. Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the it Gladiator... Was exactly 25 feet away. <laughs> yeah. Gladiator deck save. Ooh, that's not good. That's a natural 2. So that's going to be a failure for the Gladiator. And for the Goliath... Well, that's also not good. That's a natural 7. So they both fail. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Is there supposed to be a fourth one? <sighs> nope. Two Goliaths and one Gladiator. Oh, okay. Oh, 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 I'm seeing a lot of fives. Okay, okay, okay. So we're at 10, 15, 20, um, 24, 30. Okay, so actually it wasn't that bad. So 36. 36 points of lightning. All right. Once again, the power of the gods. Just like clap your hands and this lightning. <laughs> Oh, Fires 37. Through. Sorry. Sorry, that was a 5 and a 2 for the last one. Fuck. 37. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's fine. All right. <laughs> You've certainly gotten their attention, Ryujin. Anything else? Um, So that was my movement and my action. And for my bonus action, um, how how what's Kai's range, actually? Range for um, what? Just... I can't like snap him over to them, could I? Um, I don't believe so. I think it probably has to be like sixty feet or something like that. Okay. Um, so I'll have him turn invisible. Okay. And just um, would it take up my bonus action to just have him hang out like? Well, remember like, he, has, he kind of essentially point? has his, has his own turn in combat. So he can he can like, Does spend. He? Yeah, he is, he essentially goes right after you. Oh. So he can hang out right here if you'd like. Okay, yeah, and then I'll just have him do his... his. Was that... How far can I move him, like, from me, though? Is he, you said 60? Uh, that's a guess. I don't know. It, it would be okay. in your character sheet. Um. And then one, once you snap him into existence, he has his normal movement speed. <clears throat> okay. So yeah, I'll just have him go invisible, and it's 40 feet, so... Um, where he's at should be, it's perfect, sure. yeah. Alright. Um, that's not my bonus action, though. No. Okay, so then I'll summon the tentacle as well. Alright. Tentacle is summoned. You can put it wherever you like. Okay. And I'll have that right up there next to Alexios. Alright, sounds good. And that's my turn. All right, Anura, you're up. Oh, all right. Um, I know what I'm going to do, but uh, I'm going to cast. Let's see if I can get my spells to load and not take forever. Um, call lightning, but at fourth level this time. All right, so. Instead of one hand, it's now two hands up in the air as the storm cloud form forms once again over the arena. Yep. Um. I'm going to center the spot between. I need to screw zoom in again because Al barely loaded, <laughs> and I can't read their names between Gladiator and Goliath One, where it hits both of them. Sure. Dex saves for both. Yep. Gladiator is a natural one. Jesus Christ, they're rolling like shit. And the Goliath is a natural eight. God damn it. Yeah, they both fail. All right, so that's 4d10. I can't do math. Holy shit. That is 10, and that is 13. Is that how math works? No, that's not how math works. That's not even 10. That's 12 and 13. So 25. 25 points of damage. So they just got lightning in a straight line, and then someone called it above them yeah. to just... <laughs> yeah. And I never moved at the beginning. Oops. Damn it. Okay. So you said we could have been 25 feet from the start, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I wanted to be right here, but I had moved yet. Okay. 
So then I'm going to move my full movement. So one, two, three, four. Because that would put me there for 30 feet, right? Yeah. Yeah. Math sure. is hard. <laughs> I wasn't and counting, but I trust I'm you. going to send the damage for starry form at the gladiator. All right, go ahead. Uh, that is 13, 21 to hit. 21 hits. All right, and it's a D8. Uh, that is 11 points of radiant damage for him. 11 points of radiant, you got it. I'm missing a dice out of that sack. Where'd it go? And that is my turn. There's nothing else I can do. All righty. That brings us to Ilmay. Yay. All right. I shall move. I yeah, maybe 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. I'm not within 30 feet. Am I? No. Okay. So bonus action. You're dash. actually, you're almost, you're at 35 from the gladiator. Ooh, right, what'd I do? Okay, well, I still have to use my bonus action to dash. And I'll get right here and use my uh, crossbow using the assassinate thing. Add oh, advantage. I'm invisible! Can I do stealth stuff? Well, you're well, advantage anyway. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Okay, cool. DFR healed. That is going to be... What is do I add? Uh, 21. 21 definitely hits, yeah. Yay! And it's the auto crit. It is, yeah. Oh, I love this assassinate thing. <laughs> Freaking amazing. This is what your build is based around. I know, it's so awesome. <laughs> 10d6, woo! Oh, that went in this car. Okay, here. Did you say 10d6? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I, I have four oh. for sneak and one for the crossbow. Assassin rogues are no, designed to be able to shit. kill people in one hit. Yeah. Holy shit, that's cool. As long as they're smart. Man, I'm over here just like summoning tentacles and shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'd have to crit on um, a second level guiding bolt to do that much damage in one hit. Oh, and I use my... I still have one left of the plus one. Sure, so, so add, a, using... add an extra one to the damage. Cool. So that's going to be 41 points of damage. Ooh! Oh! Ow! <laughs> that's horrible. Hey, let him fucking start at least. <laughs> nope. They walk God. in and we all just... Damn! <laughs> Lightning! And Lightning. Lightning. Knows for you to attack. It's just it. Lightning And I bolt. have no Lightning. more of my plus Lightning. one. I'm out. Okay, anything else I'll make? That is it. Okay. So. It is now the gladiator's turn. Mm. Oh, God. He's you pissed at this point, right? What weapon right. does he oh, have? Oh, he's super pissed. He'll get right into melee with you, Ilmay. Bigger as much? You see he does some cool, <laughs> like... <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm... In, I'm well, in yeah, now, now she's visible. Um, he does some some cool hand work with the spear. And as you're looking at the spear, you just see it go... And he makes an attack. Two attacks with his spear at you. What if he just threw the spear up in the air to get your attention to follow and then just punched you in the face? <laughs> Not even Never the watch the, the button. Like um, that is a 17 and a 19 to hit. The 19 hits uncanny dodge. Got it. Um, so that is going to be, uh, 10 points have to five points of piercing damage. And then with his third attack, he will take his shield and just bash you across the face with it. Um, that is a natural 18. I'm sure that's going to Did hit. you just oh, say yeah. third attack? That's correct. Um, he's probably a fighter. Okay. You're telling me I could have made, like, a legit actual gladiator and been able to attack three times? What am I doing? <laughs> um, okay, so that's gonna be, um, nine points of bludgeoning damage, Ilme, and need you to make a strength save. Bring crap. I can tell you I will probably fail. <laughs> 13. 
13. 13. It's he hits you across weapon. the face with his shield, and yeah, you're yeah. suddenly just like seeing stars, and you find yourself hitting the pavement. You are once again was, prone. Was Ilmay within 30 feet of me? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Yeah, she is. I can add a d6 to that then. Go ahead. Add another 5. So what is so that? 18. Like 18. All right, fine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was definitely about to go add another 5. <laughs> no. it. All right. It is now the Goliath's turn. <laughs> ah, shit. Oh, just keep adding. It'll get there eventually. Oh, shit. I knew this was going to happen. Just out of range. Oh, no. But he does have a giant one, so that's okay. All right, so Goliath number one is going to make two attacks with its great axe at you, Ilmay. Oh, man. If all these hit, I'm going to probably freaking die. That's not great. Um, 15. No. And then 21. <gasps> 21 hits. Okay. 21. So that's going to be. Both of those would have that's hit. That's cocked. God, I'm such a sweet. God, I'm rolling like such shit for damage. Um, that is only eight points of slashing damage. Okay. And then Goliath number two pulls out two javelins at the same time and just chucks them at you. That's better. Um, one still misses, but the other one's a natural 17, which is going to hit. Yes. And that does uh, 10 points of piercing damage to you. Okay. And that's what they're going to do this round. Uh, Alexios, you're up. So I am going to... <clears throat> All right, back off his square, dude. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and I am going to make two attacks, one against the gladiator, one against the... Uh... The Goliath? Goliath. I all right, go ahead and do the gladiator make... first. Uh, all right. Die. Uh, 22. Yeah, that hits. Uh, 12 points of damage. All right. And, or, no, wait, 13. Sorry, I keep on freezing that plus one. All right. And that's 24. Yeah, that, that definitely hits the Goliath. I will let you know, I mean, if, if the, the longsword's infused, it should be adding the plus one for you already. Oh, wait. No, because I'm doing... I keep on forgetting that... Uh, I, I'm doing plus five in my head because intelligence, but I keep on forgetting that radiant weapon is plus one damage, too. Gotcha. Yeah, I mean, it, it should say on the on d to Beyond what you should be adding. Okay. Gotcha. All right, go ahead and roll for the Goliath. That's another 12 points of damage. Okay. All right. So, with your fresh longsword, you slice and slice. You see, they, they are getting pissed. All right, anything else, Alexios? Uh, just after the two slices, I'm just gonna, like, yell in their face or something. You know, I'm trying to get the attention. Ah, for sure. Yeah. Gladiator yes. looks pissed. All right, Ryujin, you're up. Okay. So... If I move right here, I can. Oh. Hold on. Instead of going there, if I go right here, I'm just making sure I don't hit. Um... Fuck. Okay. Yeah, you don't have a good shot, really, without hitting one of your allies. Where was I? Uh, to start? Oh, shit. Don't ask me. I think I was, like... I think I was, like, right... 
here. Hold on. Right, let me retrace my steps because my initial thought was that I was going to hit Kai. So somewhere around there. Sure. I'll just subtract five feet off my movement just in case. Sure. Um, and 15, 9, 25. Okay, so I'll just do this instead. Um, okay. And I'll just shoot. Well, Try to thread the needle to the gladiator? Yeah. Okay. Um, Let's see if you can. So I already used lightning bolt once, so this time around we'll just do an eldritch blast. Okay. Um, go ahead and yeah, go ahead and make two attacks. Okay. Uh that's gonna be fifteen. Fifteen misses. <laughs> it just he blocks it with his shield and he sees it coming. Okay, that's better. That's a uh, sixteen plus seven. Yeah. Um, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead and roll damage. Good at math. D ten plus four. Ah, um, thirteen. Thirteen points of damage. All right. <clears throat> and then um, I will have Kai fly over to him because that's within. 40 feet, I believe. Yep, it's 30 feet away. So I'll have Kai fly over while invisible. Um, and he will make an attack. Okay, go ahead and make a stealth check at, at, at advantage for Kai. Okay. Uh, stealth check. Does he have stealth as a skill? He does. Wow. Does Eldritch blast um, 17. Uh, oh, it does, actually. 10 feet. Okay, good to know. Beep, beep. Uh, 17 stealth? Yep. He sees Kai. Or he can hear Kai flap his wings. With a... Uh, an okay. 18 perception check. God damn it. All right. <laughs> um, when he gets pushed back, does he get opportunities or attacks on opportunity? No, you only get op attack opportunity if you leave on your own free will. Um, so, yeah, Kai's going to make an attack. Uh, 13, 18. 18, uh, would hit, but as Kai attacks, and as, as Kai attacks, Kai becomes visible once more. The gladiator finally sees his predator, Whips up the shield, takes out his his sword, and manages to sort of parry away the attack. Damn. Okay, so I just wasted like my whole turn. Damn. Damn it. Okay. Um. Well, shit. Okay. That sucked. I mean, yeah. I guess that. That's all I can really do. Kai can't okay. move any farther. That was my bonus action. So. All right, that brings us to Anura. All right, uh, for Call Lightning, I'm going to move the point to center between Gladiator 1 and... Goliath 1 and Gladiator. Gotcha. All right, so it's Goliath number enough. 1. That is... It's a deck save, right? Yes. Is, is Kai is... in that range? Mm, yes, oh, Kai is in the range. Oh, Kai's in that yeah. range. Um... A 16 on the save? Damage. I'm going to use my reaction to Half give him resistance to lightning teeth. damage. Okay. Does a 16 save or no? Yeah, but skin of his teeth. Wait, All do right, I have to so roll for Kai? Shit. Yes, make a dex save for Kai. Gladiator. Okay. Gladiator fails. The Goliath succeeds, okay. Gladiator fails. Okay. You said a dex save? Dex yeah. save. Uh, 18? He passes. Okay, so nice. Kai's going to take quarter damage. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. Uh, Not like that that'll is... be a lot, because, I mean, he only has 10 HP. <laughs> yeah, he's probably gone. From that one. Fuck. 14. 29 points of lightning damage in total. Okay, <laughs> so he is alive. Uh, so that's so he only takes uh, seven, seven right? points. Seven points, yeah. So okay. 14 Who's to Who's looking the worst right now? Hi. Not, <laughs> not Kai, but... He has three HP. Get out of there, buddy. 
Kyle <laughs> had the same AC before. Are you serious? <laughs> He's 13. Wow. I'm going to use my movement to get to here. And who looks worse, Goliath 1 or the Gladiator? Gladiator, for sure. Uh, I'm going to send that. Actually, you know what? They actually, they both look pretty bad. Okay. I'm going to send the damage for Starry Form at the Gladiator. Okay. Go ahead and make your attack. Oh, I was so close. It was a 19, natural 19. Ugh. That does hit, yes. Oh, so close. He takes 11 points of radiant damage. Okay. He looks fucking pissed. I'm gonna do the same thing as DJ, or as Alexios and all of them and go, come on, jackass. <laughs> all right. Come uh, on, jackass. Do better. May, it is your turn. Okay, let's move. So I am flanking with Alexios. Okay, the Goliath um, will get an attack opportunity. Oh, frick. Okay, oh, yeah, no. If, 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 the, the, disengage. disengage? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. I'll allow it. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't think he was in rage for some reason. <laughs> All right, so you get advantage on the Goliath. Yay. Not rolling that well today, but uh, hopefully, uh, no, I should hit twenty. Yeah, that hits. Okay, so I get my sneak attack. You do, yes. You do, do. Grab all my dice. Oh man, mm, wasn't very good. Man. 13 plus 6 is 19 points total. 19 points? All right. Hey, that's better than nothing. Yeah, it's just three of those are ones. Oh, bummer. <laughs> All right, is that your turn, Omei? That is it, because I already used my candy dodge. All right, that brings us to the gladiator who will sidestep. So he is now flanking with his Goliath friend, and he will start with two spear attacks at you, both at advantage. Uh, actually, you know what? He's so pissed now, he drops his shield on the ground, grabs his spear with both hands, and makes two attacks at advantage. First attack is a 20 total. Yes, uh, uh uncanny, uncanny dodge. dodge. Okay, and the second attack will be uh, 20 total. So both yeah. hit. The first one's going to be halved damage. Uh, that's going to be uh, 11 halved to 5 points of damage on the first one. And the second one is 10 points of, of piercing damage to you. Um, I am looking rough. And because he no longer has a shield, he'll just use his third attack to make another spear attack on you. Oh, jeez. I'm going to die. Uh, natural 19. Yeah. And that is, uh, 17 points of piercing damage. Yep, yep, I'm down, I'm down. Oh, Ilmay falls unconscious. Uh, and in response, the gladiator just picks his shield back up, sheaths his, his spear, and just puts his shield back on. Well, I was expecting him to just, like, spread his arms like we were. Just like, what's up, bro? <laughs> It is now the Goliath's turn. Goliath number two turns to the unconscious Ilmay and makes no. two attacks, no. both at advantage. First attack. Are you uh, serious? Does an 18 hit Ilmay? No, it doesn't have a 19. Second attack. Wait, why is he still rolling? I thought they were auto since she's down. If it hits, it's an auto hit. Oh. Oh, wait. No, that's not how it is, is it? That's not how it is. No, if it's a melee, I mean, it's just an auto hit. Ilme. If it hit. I thought if you it hits, it was an auto crit. Yeah, that's what I thought, too, but I wasn't I thought, No, I thought if it was in melee, it was an auto crit no matter what because she's down. Yeah, I can't move. You just move. killed Ilme because both of those would be auto crits. 
I think if it hits, it's an auto crit. That's what I thought. But, he, but, he's, but he's still, he still needs down. to he still needs to roll to see if it hits. He does. I believe okay. so. Either way, that second one was a natural 19, so you do immediately lose two death saves. Oh, I'm so glad he only has two hits. But that that is his entire turn. Okay, no, it's uh, it's with a, it's an attack roll with advantage against. Yeah, that's what creature. I was that's what I was rolling. Yeah, yeah. Okay, good. Thank My you bad. for double checking though. Sammy, you uh, killed me before without rolling. <laughs> I don't think that's true. The I Minotaur, you didn't roll. You just killed me. <laughs> I full, I definitely rolled with the Minotaur, but the Minotaur also has a charge attack. Anyway, I digress. <laughs> um, yeah, didn't we I... both get charged because he put yes. his horns yeah, and I? Yeah, he he horned you guys. Um, he just happened to kill me when he did it. Goliath number one, two attacks at advantage on Alexios. Why am I fucking hit me? First attack is not great. Uh, 17. 17 misses. Second attack. <clears throat> Natural 20, baby. <laughs> the only thing I can use to fucking hit you, you piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so that is... Ooh, crazy damage. Um, 26 points of slashing damage. Okay. I rolled a 12 I... and a 10 on 2d12. Uh, I want to use a charge on my shield to knock him back 15 feet away from me. Okay. As he hits you with the great axe, your shield activates and he's a... <laughs> and it gets pushed back 15 feet, but you do still take the full damage. Uh, uh, I don't think... One second, I want to see if this... I don't think this costs a reaction. I think it does. No, uh, my, the, the shield, or not the shield, the sword. And I'm trying to see if I can just, like, uh, use the charge or not. Uh, what are you talking about? Oh, I have Radiant Weapon. Yeah. Which is, after being, okay, so, oh no, it's as a reaction. Yeah, I think both of them are reaction oh, things. Not. Yeah. All right. Um, but that is the Goliath turn that brings us to Alexios. Okay. So. Oh, my drink of health potion. If I move out of range, I'm going to get an attack of opportunity. You can get to Ilme without moving out of melee. Right here, would I be able to do that? Yeah, absolutely. <gasps> and it's an action to feed a. It's That's an action correct. to yes. feed a potion. Yes. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna give Ilme a potion. All right, go ahead. Uh, just a common healing potion. Uh, check if I have any. Uh. Greater healing. Okay, oh, so go gosh. ahead and roll 4d4 plus 4. And you can mark that off of your inventory. Unless you have more, that was the last one for the whole party until I make more and we buy more. I still have a potion of greater healing as well. Do you have one? Okay. I thought you used it. I had two. <laughs> 17. 17 points of healing, Ilmay, as you wake up, surrounded once again by enemies over your prone body. <laughs> but you are alive. <laughs> um, Alexios, oh, bonus God. action? Mm. I can't attack. Correct. I'm now. Um... Hold on. Yeah, I don't have it. All right, not a problem. Ryujin, you're up. Okay, so um, with uh, shit, with Ilme being prone, is there any way that I can angle my lightning bolt 
over her? Like, if I would, were to aim at their upper bodies? No. Can't you, can't you no. like, hold until I move or something? Is that possible? Yeah, you can. And I will say, a health I will potion, say right? however, if you were to fire your lightning right now, you would 100% hit Ilme. Yeah. Okay. Please don't do that. Uh, Ilme, what, what? I go before they move. So... If you want to hold it until I move. Okay. So yeah, I guess I will hold my lightning bolt until they move. Um, and then as for my bonus action, I will have Kai um, try to attack the gladiator. Okay. Go ahead and make an attack. Okay. We're going to go with the... Ah, um, 22 to hit. That hits. Go ahead and roll damage. Okay. Let me just go down here and see. Okay. And five feet reach, so a d4 plus three piercing damage. Where's my d4? Uh -huh. Okay. Um, th th that's going to be seven piercing damage. Mm -hmm. And the target must make a DC Constitution saving throw, taking uh, 3d6 poison damage on a failed save or half as much on a successful one. Con save is a uh, dirty 20. Okay. So I'll roll the 3d6 and we'll just split it. Uh, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So 5 poison damage. 5 points of poison damage. Mm hmm. Hanging on by a thread, this fucking gladiator. He's like, um, <laughs> and that was my. I'm holding my action. That was my bonus action. I'm not gonna move. Um. So that's it. Yeah. All right, Anura, you're up. How does the gladiator look? Fucking death's door. How does Goliath two look? Uh, the healthiest of the three. Cool. All right. Uh, so I am going Just to cast that. Guiding Bolt at first level using the star map okay. at Goliath 2. Go ahead. Uh, it's a natural 18. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. So he gets 3 to 4d6. I want to roll that dice, but I can't roll it with other dice or it'll break. <laughs> so I roll it separate. Ooh. Ooh, what I dice? like that. It's my amethyst dice. I have to roll it separate or it'll, like, crack. What are your other dice made it's... of? Metal? But it's it's amethyst. Literally, if you hit roll it on normal, like a normal desk, it would break without oh, the felt I guess rolling track. Ameth Is amethyst pretty fragile? I guess I don't know. Mm -hmm. I've never had uh, anything amethyst. Yeah, 14... Hmm. 19 points of radiant damage for Goliath 2. Oof. All right. And he's now glowing. Yep. And then for the gladiator, I'm sending the other thing towards him. All right. The radiant arrow. Yeah. He's dead. Hey, was it at 20? <laughs> Fuck yes. I mean, yeah. You can go ahead and roll damage if you want. <laughs> I do want because he he deserves it. I'm gonna use the amethyst dice for it too. Sure. Oh, I didn't roll it in the foul tree. Holy shit! Oh, I just rolled it. I rolled an eight when I rerolled it in the thing after dropping it. Uh, seventeen points of radiant damage for him. Seventeen. So you see, this gladi gladiator is still looking over. Uh, Ilmay's prone body, and you just fire this radiant arrow, and at first you think it misses him, and then you just see a little puncture wound in the side of the neck, and then the blood just begins to form as he just collapses on the ground. It's like in an anime when the swordsman sheaths his sword. Exactly, and then, like, and then things... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 100%. 100%. Um, Alright, is that your turn, Anora? Um, And then I still have my movement, right? Yeah. I'm going to move up into melee with two and like shout in his ear. Come on, jackass. <laughs> okay, go ahead and make an fight. intimidation check. Is that intimidation? Yeah. I'm not rolling the amethyst dice because I'm scared now. <laughs> it's a 
19. Okay. He seems to, you seem to get his attention. Uh, Ilmay, it is your turn. I'm gonna get up. I'm going to disengage. Okay. And go away. <laughs> he is going to use his energy of the aisle reaction and ignore your disengage and hit you anyway. Uh, God. Damn. She's out of the way though, right? Yeah. She is out of the way, but but as as that's happened, um, it's a uh, math, 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 twenty three to hit. Yeah. Damn. Which is um... oh, that's not that's not bad. Uh, seven points of slashing damage. We're good. And now, yes, Ilmay is out of the way. Can I? Lightning bolt. Yes. Yes, you can. Goliath number one. Natural 20 on the reaction, or on the, the deck save. Goliath number two, natural 19 on the reaction. <laughs> so they both succeed. However, yep. that won't save them because I have a, I, I'm, listen, I'm going to roll these dice, these four, and those five separate, all right? All right. Here's what's happening. Because, because, uh, see, this is the thing that the dice came in, the, mm-hmm. the, Guildmaster's Guide to Rivets here. That's a lightning gun, by the way, so that's why I'm rolling a second. very on brand. Yay. Okay, that... I got two sixes and a five, so that actually oh, would shit. work. <laughs> cool. Um, so, 22 right off the bat, and then... Let me just move these ones to the side. Well, it canceled out because I got two ones, a five, a six, and a three. Um, math... Hold on. What did I say? That's like 36, I think. <laughs> I wasn't keeping track. All right, hold on. 22, 5, a 6, and 3, and two ones. Someone, please. I'm dyslexic. <laughs> <laughs> We have two scientists in the group. Someone help him out. I uh, say it again. Simple hold on, hold on, 38. Thank, Thank you. you. Jesus Christ. 38 halved to 19. That's actually the most like frustrated I've ever been with numbers. See, you're sitting here talking about simple math. We have to uh. roll dice to figure out our lab groups for PCHEM. So I had to roll basically five D6s and then put my name on the board with the number. I had to redo the math five times before I could write the number on the board. Region. So. Take your moment. Okay. Double Double kill, baby. Oh, shit. (laughs) Okay. So, I, 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 like, after holding this here, I'm, like, kind of, I feel like I'm, like, holding my forearm, you know? I'm just, like, waiting. And the second that I see Emma is out of the way, I, like, it, it, like, kind of reverberates through my whole body just like comes up through my chest and my eyes just glint like blue for a second and then it and it's like slow motion you can see all the the, you can see the crackle as it as you can feel it sort of like radiating the heat in the air you can actually hear thunder crack as this lightning shoots from your hand and it hits the goliath first and you see it's entire inside seemed to boil immediately and fires through him at his friend anura alexios you're on either side of this of this goliath as he reaches with his great axe and suddenly is just frozen in place as you see blood begin to pour from his nose and his eyes as he just crumples to the ground and the crowd erupts in roars of gratitude uh menor comes out and says the brilliance of the hands of fate everyone Led by the mastery in the arena of Ryu, the Unbroken. I'm just gonna like freeze, just like <laughs> shit. You are escorted back to the waiting area. Adagio, you're in a weird place where like once the hands of fate leave, you can hear the murmurs in the crowd. I'm like, man, they were really good. Oh man, did you see that move? Yeah, that was crazy. And you're just like, fuck yeah, those are my, those are my friends. <laughs> <laughs> I know those people. Fuck yeah, I know them. Did they murder all those people? The, in in the arena, they're fucking dead. So this like well known gladiator just got clapped by the hands of fate. Yes. 
We said no murder. A lot. I could turn a gladiator. <laughs> it's fine. It's different in the gladiator pits, you know. It's Holy just... shit! Y'all just. I feel bad though. I don't like just murdering people, but <laughs> I, just I didn't have. I didn't have him. an option. Y'all just killed the Flash. It was him or Ilmay. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Same energy is like I killed Iron Man. <laughs> yeah, that was Batman back there. Have you guys watched What If? Yeah, of course. Plus? Yes. <laughs> real, real good. I'm on episode three. I'm dead. This Jeez. is that same. It's the same energy. Oh God, you're not up to. You're not up to the thing with Vision and Ultron. Never mind. I can't no, say that. No, not yet. Not yet. So right. are we just like collectively Hank Pym from episode three, just taken out of Avengers? <laughs> yes, absolutely. Yes. Spoiler alert, by the way. Oh, oh yeah, so sorry. Oh, my I forgot about. <laughs> All right, I so I the four of you make it back to the waiting room. Um, you can take another short rest if you want to uh, roll some hit dice. You're welcome to do so. I didn't get hit again. I, don't... I didn't get hit. <laughs> I actually got hit this time. One of us died. <laughs> Not For yet. a second. Unconscious. Yeah. Oh, yeah. See, those oh, fucking yeah. lightning bolts are pissing me off, man. <laughs> yeah, you should have not made this out in the open where me and Ryujin both now have that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, can I just, like, okay. take out my liar while we're, like, hanging out and just, just like, play, uh, uh, what is it? Thunder, Thunderstruck by, da, by da. JCD. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> Um, as you guys right are waiting, if you want to talk about who will be leaving the party next. Yeah, so, uh, I, like, yeah, I'm out. I'm done. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I just rub her head and say, I, I understand. Yeah. Um, does anybody okay. want, anymore? does anybody want to use my awesome rapier or my, uh, necklace? I know Regen, stay away from this. You can't use it. That is Alexia. Yeah, I don't think I use magic. Uh, I mean, Anor, you can wear it because it only affects uh, whatever the type of magic reagent has. It doesn't affect oh, your magic. Magic? It doesn't affect no. nature magic. No, it's, it's, only, just... it's only arcane yeah. magic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, so what so if you want to wear it, it, wear it. I'll wear it then. Okay. Oh, yeah. I didn't know it did that. Holy shit! Yeah. Wait, will it mess with my infernal legacy stuff, Sammy? No, if it's arcane. That's not arcane magic. Okay, I didn't know. That's racial magic. Yeah, so um, <laughs> look up the look up the blood glass medallion, so you can okay. wear. I want it back. Of course. And oh, here I'll give you my ring of protection. Gives you a plus one to your AC. You need to attune to it. Uh, that I can't attune to it in an hour, can I? Yeah, yeah you can. can. You can attune over short yeah. rest. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I have to deattune from something though. <laughs> Oh, you already have three attunements? I'm attuned to the Ring of Shooting Stars, Nature's Mantle, and Underbrush. Uh, uh, of those things, I, I can know. unattune to Nature's Mantle, I guess. Yeah, the... I want, what happens if I untune, unattune to something? Do I just have to redo it later? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so do have I have my... to... Ring of Protection, Blood Glass Medallion is yours as well. Does anybody want a rapier? Actually, I mean, I can give you my rapier, but I think you're all covered on those. Isn't that only a... It's a plus one we weapon with a... It also has a d4 of some kind of damage. If I had better Actually. dexterity or strength, dexterity or strength... Maybe, but it's I'm a laughing. dex. You have to use your dex for it. Mm, gotcha. Why won't it let me attune to the ring of protection? Oh, I have to add it first. Never mind. Yep. <laughs> Ignore me. So yeah, there you go. Um, yeah, I'm keeping my ring of invisibility though because I have plans, hopefully, to do something. Oh God. Okay. In between. <laughs> That's scary. <laughs> Only slightly. How, Sammy? How long does it take to actually brew a healing potion? Uh, it it needs a work day to do it, so okay. like eight hours. Okay. Yeah. Never mind. Okay. Um. All right. So you guys are discussing that as uh, um the eye catchers 
head out to the arena. Adagio, you see the eye catchers work for the first time. Um, and you see that it is very gruesome. Oh. Uh, they are fighting what look like Athenian soldiers that have volunteered to be part of this. Why would you volunteer for this? They and... didn't know they'd go against eyeball collecting people. <laughs> yeah, the, the Athenians, to be fair, the Athenians are extremely good at strategy. So you see they have these really amazing sort of like battle formations that they create and they they're really good at sort of dividing and conquering and all that sort of stuff they, they are highly skilled warriors but there is a ferocity and a gruesomeness to the eye catchers style that even you get a bit squeamish looking at um to the point where they end up declaring a victory in the fight before all the athenians are dead just because the crowd is getting to a bit of a dangerous point where the a bunch of the Athenian soldiers are trying to sort of like get onto the the arena and and, and fight eye catchers on behalf of their brothers who are lying bloodied on the ground. Um, two of the Athenians that they're fighting do die, um, but the others are are spared before their eyes are plucked out of their heads, uh, and the eye catchers are are declared the victors of the round. Jesus yeah, it's a little bit fucked up. But more fucked up. Wait, 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 wait. What? <laughs> Did you just say a little butt fucked up? <laughs> did I? <laughs> I don't think so. I think the I words think are close to each I'm pretty sure you I did. totally, that's totally something I could do. 100%. <laughs> yeah. I was like, wait, did he say this? Uh, he didn't say I, did, I thought it was just me hearing things. And then you said it. Okay, so it wasn't just me. Amazing. Um, no, I mean, I know it was gruesome, but Jesus. But what's even more fucked up, and you're not sure if this is, if this was intentional, or if it was, like, a similar sort of luck of the draw situation, but when the Swords of Menelaus, the Spartan soldiers, come for their fight, the gate opens, and facing them are Spartan soldiers. Spartan versus Spartan? Yes. Oh, shit. That's unfortunate. Dude, that's, like, the most Spartan thing I've ever heard. No one and else is enough. There is a long period of time, Adagio, that you witness that the soldiers don't really know what to do on either side. And the crowd doesn't really know how to react either. That's just until cruel. until one of one of the Spartans in the Swords of Menelaus lifts up his weapon and shouts glory to Ares and they attack. It is oh. an equal match and you're not quite sure if it's because they have the same training and therefore they're like essentially the same skill level or if they're both both sides are sort of holding back their punches either way it takes a long time and it's unpleasant for everyone in the audience it, it feels wrong it feels uncomfortable yeah but they managed to knock their brothers unconscious, not killing them, but knocking them unconscious. And they win the fight. However, Adagio, you see it is an om om almost unanimous decision that the Swords of Menelaus should not make it to the next round. Damn. So, the Swords of Menelaus are eliminated. Sad day. Sad day. Sad Quarter day. represent! Yes. So... Maynor eventually comes back to the holding room. All right, well, two rounds down. May I take the contestants who are now leaving? Yep, I'm coming. All right. So, all of the uh, all of the Swords of Menelaus, Ilmay, and one of the Eye Catchers, uh, and one of the uh, light, uh, Lightning Chasers. Isaac. All. I'm sorry. I forgot. I forgot. <laughs> I forgot. I'm sorry. Ah! Ilme, you can you can sit down right by Adagio. Oh, Although... so so are we like escorted like with guards yes. to this place? Yes. Can I like, if I like turn invisible in the middle of walking, you think they would notice? And can 100 we try to? One hundred percent, they would notice. Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Are Sorry. there guards surrounding the area where we're yes. sitting in? You guys, you guys are being treated as as VIPs right now. Okay. Well, 
what during the next the match, hopefully they get distracted. I'm turning invisible and trying to escape. <laughs> okay. Go we'll get to that when we get there. <laughs> yep. I got plans. I just wanna, I wanna look at Emma and be like, you almost died. Just give her a kiss on the forehead and be like, cure wounds. <laughs> Ooh, nice. Aw, go ahead and cure her wounds. Cure wounds, boop. That's 11 points. That's because it was a kiss. My full Ew. kill. Boop. All right. I'm almost up to full now. <laughs> so, the lightning chasers walk out onto the pitch for the third time. Round three, monsters. And Ilme and Adagio, you both see as the gate opens up, three reptilian creatures on four legs with long tails these sharp teeth begin to walk out of the far gate basilisks and you see a hell of a fight theoretically let's find out it's tough um luckily they seem to have some sort of cleric uh on their team which is good because it seems like one of the lightning chasers momentarily gets petrified and turns into stone. But another lightning chaser is able to free uh, his teammate from this uh, enclosure of stone. And they do manage to successfully defeat the basilisks, though it is... You can tell the lightning chasers are specifically them, are getting real tired. Um, they have not had a super de decisive victory yet and it looks like they are certainly waning in their time but they are still successful um but you get a sense they they might not make it and in, 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 if you guys are any better um eventually can i try to escape go ahead <laughs> distracting enough. go ahead and make a stealth check with disadvantage okay damn it what if i try to help how um, what if I, the, I, 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 was, I'll say, like, Adagio, the, the distraction's already happening, because there's Damn a fight it. going on. It's I just, a, it's, it's just, a, it's just a, at disadvantage because there are so many guards watching you guys. And, uh, okay. I jump away <laughs> Yeah, I don't think that's gonna do it as a 14. Yeah, so you sort of, like, stand up and, and begin to walk away and one of the guards just goes even if i'm invisible it's still a disadvantage yes that that I, I can't tell you how many eyes are on you guys right now this entire arena is filled with people and you guys are try. surrounded by guards i'm literally gonna try every single time okay I don't, it, yeah just so you know all right how many can you just turn invisible at will with that ring? Uh, with an action. It doesn't say how I can do it as many times as I want. Oh, amazing. Apparently. Love that. All right. Yeah. So, eventually, Maynor comes once again for Regen, Anora, and Alexios. Are you ready? All right. Follow me. Once again, you walk down this tunnel. The gate opens. Maynor introduces you. Now, Ryujin, you start to hear Ryu, 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 no, from some Jesus. people. Is it the Spartans? It better be the Spartans, God damn it! <laughs> and the gate opposite you opens. Lightning plot. <laughs> I'm just kidding. And nothing comes oh, shit. out. I meant to say, while we're going down, before we get there, can I go ahead and retake a starry form? <clears throat> Sure. Yeah. Okay. What form do you want to take? Uh, I'm going to go ahead and retake Archer again. Okay. You said nothing comes out? For a moment, nothing comes out. For a long enough moment that murmurs begin to spread around the arena. And then you see Maynor reemerge from your side and just slowly make his way the long walk to the other side of this arena. And you see him disappear behind that other gate. And there's still nothing. 
and then you hear. This is if it's a fucking minotaur. I swear to God. <laughs> it is and Nora's and Nora's out. I don't care if it's a minotaur. I'm done. Some creature begins to step with heavy footsteps. Is this the chimera okay. we abandoned? <laughs> Both of those they are so much so funnier fast. than what I was about to say. <laughs> They grow so quick. So it's a Rooksol again. <laughs> oh shit! It a is Nemosini. It has yeah. had a full Titan. At first, you don't quite understand what you're seeing. It looks like a moving pile of rocks that emerges. <sighs> but then you see it straighten up, and you realize it had to hunch over to get through this gate. But as it stands, you see this enormous giant with stone-like skin, standing 15, 20 feet tall. Is this a storm giant? It has an enormous great club in his <laughs> hand, but not not like what, what you'd sort of expect from giants. This giant is fairly thin. Um, Alexios, you would know from growing up in this area, stone giants that live in these mountains do have this sort of slender frame. You also know that stone giants rarely, if ever, come above the surface. To, to a stone giant, the world begins and ends at the edge of the mountain. It is extremely rare to see a stone giant above tunnels. And yet here one is. But you could, you could immediately tell, like, something is weird about this giant. He's sort of just staring off. And he looks at you guys. He smiles. He waves. Can we just like wave back? In the world. Just like... Yeah. A second stone giant appears oh from the gates. Fuck. Also, seems to have this sort of like nonchalant <clears throat> dream attitude. Isaiah sort of look. And you see Maynor from behind them sort of takes a whip and whoosh, fight them the giant just sort of look mm. all right every instinct every instinct i have is to figure out how to free them oh my god ah uh, go ahead and i should have picked, every in I should have picked every up prime inst monster i would have told him to step on him <laughs> squish him step on him Oh, um, initiative. all right, anyone above twenty? Twenty. Twenty two. Get a good battle map here. That's what you see. 22 for left, and you guys can go ahead and, and move yourselves. I'll say 20 feet from the gate this time. Okay, uh, 20 to 15. I have a 19. 19 for Regen. I also have a 19. Uh, which one of you has a higher dex? I have plus Same two. For you, Jen. I also have a plus two. Okay, so you guys can go in whatever order you'd like. Okay. But that order does need to be consistent with each round. Okay. You can't just um, around. Boulder paper or boulder parchment shears. I don't know. Boulder parchment shears. Let me get this thing put back up where I can see you. Okay, okay. Here we go. You ready? Right. So are we going right. one, two, three, shoot? Or one, two, shoot? One, two, three, shoot. Okay, okay. Boulder, boulder parchment, parchment shears. shears. <laughs> nice. All right. <laughs> you know, let's just flip a coin. Just... I'm gonna roll a. D I'm gonna roll a d20. Odds are you, evens are me. Okay. Or how about someone else roll it? I don't want to roll it. So, oh, okay. I'll roll it. I'll roll it. Yeah. It's a three. So, so Reed goes, goes first. first. Okay. Amazing. Okay. okay. I like it. <laughs> we could have just flipped it from last round. This is the same order as last yes. round for us. <laughs> Amazing. All right, Alexios, you're up. I am 
going to well before I go forward I'm just going to suggest maybe we should attack one at a time they seem a little out of it and focus our damage I hit them both <laughs> I mean yeah try to focus one at one time they might be charmed okay, okay. Um, okay. and I am going to shoot a fireball at Stone Giant 1. Okay, go ahead and make your attack. That's a natural 20. That is going to hit. Yeah, go ahead and roll damage. Oh. Uh, the way that you said that makes me concerned what we have to roll to hit them. <laughs> I just, I, you know, there's no way that won't hit. Looking for other 10s. Shit. So, 17. 17 points of fire damage against the first stone giant. You send this fire bolt and it sort of crackles against the stone skin. He looks down and goes, Oh, don't. Don't do this to me, Sammy. I'm not going to want to fight them. Anything else, Alexis? Hey, friends? Oh, no. Be our friends. Virgin, you're up. Okay. Can I? <sighs> it's your friends, not food. <laughs> Stone giant are friends, not enemies. Um. Well, from this range, there's not a whole lot I can do, so we're just gonna full send a lightning bolt. Okay. Uh, on two or one. On one, right? Because that was the same one that he attacked. Yeah. 15, 20, 25, 30, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, Amazing. Dex save. That's cocked. Dex save is only a 19. That, it saves. So it's half damage. Amazing. Go ahead and roll damage. <sighs> Sixteen, sixteen, nineteen, oh, shit. twenty, thirty-one, thirty-seven. Thirty-seven halved to eighteen, and then um, for a bonus action, <laughs> lightning bolt hits the stone and goes. Oh, stop! I'm gonna summon the tentacle. Okay. Pink. There you go. And I will put it. Um, they can they can attack through the tentacle, right? It won't like take damage if the party shoots at it. Uh, yeah, no, it doesn't. It doesn't have hit points. It's, it's spectral. Okay, I'll just put it right there. Okay. Um, and can I snap in Kai? Uh, I believe it's a bonus action to do both of those things. Is it? I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong. I think I think it Let does take something. Action. 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 It does not say. Really? Yeah, it doesn't say. I mean, I just kind of assumed he was with from the last time. I don't know where else he was. You have to snap him in and out, though, because we can't. Oh, yeah. True, true, true. As an action, while it's temporarily dismissed, you can cause it to reappear. So, yeah. So, it actually takes a full action to make it reappear. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Well, shit. Never mind. Anything else? Uh, nope. Anura, you're up. Oh, cool, 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 cool. Um, yeah, I know what I'm going to do. It's not changing much. Um, I'm going to cast Call Lightning at third level this time. Okay, once more, level just level just level. one hand this time. The storm cloud forms once again. Now, now it's the third time. The crowd is going, Lightning, Lightning, Lightning. They know what's coming. I know what's coming. All right, I need a deck save from both of them and center between them. You got it. 
Stone giant oh. number two. Oh are we are we targeting just the one? Well, you already said it. It doesn't it doesn't split it, so I can damage both of them while still doing damage. Yeah. Um the first one is a fourteen. That's saves. And the second one is a natural sixteen. So yeah, they're both they both save. That's saves. So half damage on both. Damn it, Sammy. Hey hey. God damn it, Sammy. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that wasn't okay, well I just okay, whatever. Ten seventeen. 24, that's how math works. So 12 to each of them. Yep, and then which one are we focusing again? Uh, number number one is the one that you guys have been hitting. Um, I'm going to move 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, because I have to to get in range for this fucking bullshit. Um, I think I do. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, let me read this again. You find the range on this real quick. No, I only have to be within 60 feet. Hold up. What's within 60 feet then? And 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. So I can stay right here and hit Stone Giant 1 with the archer damage. Okay. Yeah, for sure. Uh, That's a 24 to hit. Yeah, that hits. That's going to be 10 points of radiant damage. And as it hits, can I yell? I'm so sorry. You can yell whatever you want. Always, always hear it. Oh, oh, oh. Is that your turn, Nora? Yeah, I feel bad. It is now their turn. And I'm the closest. Oh, we going to sure. die, y'all. We're dead. Oh. So dead. should I start casting Guiding Bolt at higher levels and just do a shit ton of damage? Yes. Yeah, make it rain. Ooh, you are just out of his melee range just now. Oh, thank God. What, are they only so, have like 30 or 40 feet of movement? He has 40 feet of movement and his melee mm -hmm. range is 15 feet. Oh. Fuck. Uh, but his no melee matter, range is 15 he, feet? He reaches down onto the earth and you just see his finger is just like stretch and poof, he just pulls out a giant rock from the center of this arena and throws it at Anora. Pushed. That is a 25 to hit. Definitely hits me. Squish. Ooh, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> uh, I don't like that. 38 like points of bludgeoning damage to oh. you, Anora. Fuck and I need that. you to make okay. a strength saving throw. Well, oh my god. Rebuke. Okay, go ahead. So he makes a dex save, and you said how many points of damage did I take? Uh, 38, I think. And his dex okay. save is over 20. Oh, well, let me see what he takes then, because I don't remember. I scrolled away from it. I have 15 hit points, Sammy. Don't! Don't say anything to me. You hit the stone giant with a bunch of stuff. What am I supposed to do? When the best uh, part of me you? is always you. I can't even be mad. <laughs> <laughs> because of the reference. Um, so it's 3d10. We could half. offer them candy corn. Candy corn. It's that time of the year. <laughs> um... That's 10, 19, 25 points of lightning da or fire damage. And he takes half? He takes half. So that's 12. And uh, you, you still need a strength save from you. I know. <laughs> I'm not good at that. The 17. That's exactly what you needed. Oh my god, I have so a So you do plus manage zero. you manage to squeeze out of the way of the rock to avoid getting pinned to the ground with this rock. The other one throws at me, I'm done. It is now the other one's turn. No. I think my dollar on Anora dying might come to fruition. <laughs> um, I'm 
Sometimes is. Oh no. Don't do it, Sammy. I'm the closest one you have to. He is able to hit you, Reagent. Fuck. Oh god. So you see. <laughs> I saw him move forward. I was like, son of a bitch. He also digs his hands into the ground and pulls out a chunk of this entire arena and throws it at you. Cocked. 27 to hit. I think that's a miss, actually. I'd like to uncanny <laughs> dodge. Alright, let's see here. Fuck, dude. 24 Not points me. of bludgeoning damage. Oh! And I need you to make a strength save. Not me debating mm, okay. finding my, uh, my a strength save and seeing what, save. It's, what it could be. Okay. <laughs> I got a natural 19. Okay. You also avoid being pinned. You see this rock just go right past you after it hits you and it just shatters against the side of the arena. And I just say, hey, not cool. All right. You want to be friends? <laughs> They seem upset. All right, Alexia, it's your turn. Okay. So, I'm gonna move up to Stone Giant 1. And I'm gonna make two melee attacks. Okay, go ahead. Okay, so, 12. Nine is twenty-one. That does hit. Why are none of these a D? Okay, here you go. Okay, so eight plus six is fourteen. Fourteen points of damage. All right. Second hit. Natural sixteen. Twenty-five. Yeah, that hits. And 15 points of damage. Okay. You are hurting me. Anything else? I mean, you are throwing rocks, so. <laughs> yeah. Alright, Ryujin, you're up. Alright. Okay, so, um, shit, man. Uh, okay, uh, for my action, I'm going to summon my elemental. Yes, I have him here for you. Think, there he is. And I already used lightning bolt, right? Yes. <clears throat> All right. So, and it's I can summon him um, within ninety feet. So, uh, um, within ninety feet. I'll put him, okay, just on the other side of Stone Giant number two. All right. And then my bonus action, I'm going to move my tentacle the full 30 feet to Stone Giant number two. Um... And it's going to make an attack. So. Uh, dirty 20. That does it. Okay. And that's just uh, D6, I believe. I think D8, I think. D8. Where's my D8? Okay. Seven. Seven, you got it. So then, splash! It is now the elemental's turn. Yes. And it is going to attack um, the 
stone giant. All right. Yeah, so it's just going to make two... Um, Slam attacks? Yeah. You got it. Um, hold on. Weird, that looks different than I did before. Um, hold on. The elementals page. Oh, never mind. It's in my extras. That's why it yeah. looks different. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah. It's going to make two attacks on him. You got it. And where is my... Am I, am I blind? I might be blind. Sorry to hear that. <laughs> Oh, it's right in front of my face. Jesus. Okay. So the first one is going to be 26 to hit. Jesus, yeah. And the second one is going to be 18 to hit. Exactly what you needed. Go ahead, roll damage on both. Good to know. Hit a 26 okay. to hit? What's the, what's the added thing? Seven. Damn. All right. Because it, it, uh, it uses my spell. Um, right, 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 right. All right, right roll damage. Mm -hmm. All right, that's uh, 1d10 plus 8 for both. So my d10, that's uh, 6 and 8. So 7. Oh, wait, no, I, I wrote that wrong. Hold on. Jesus. But I rolled the 6, and I rolled the 8, and it's plus 8. So... So it's 14, 14 plus 16, so it's 30. Yes. You got it. 30 points. Jeez, I cannot do math tonight. I don't That's know right. what my problem is. It's a stressful night. I gotcha. Don't <laughs> worry. Is that your turn, Reagent? Um, I'm not sure if it can do anything else, because it just has the multi-attack. Mm -hmm. And then I already used my turn. I can't summon Kai, because that's an action, yep. I guess. That's it. Mm. All right. Uh, Nora, at the start of your turn, can you make a charisma saving throw, please? Oh, shit. Why? I'm scared. Don't worry about it. Oh, Sammy, don't say that. <laughs> no. The charisma? Yeah. The 19. Okay. Don't worry about it. Even. I'm good, okay. You, you are, you succeeded. What would you like to do? Okay, cool. I am going to... Hope for the fucking best. Um, <laughs> that's all I had planned. Um, I'm gonna cast Guiding Bolt at fourth level. Okay, and you get at advantage. Stone Giant one. Get advantage because of Quirky. Oh, thank God. Okay. Stone Giant one, you said. Yes. twenty. <laughs> you fuck Quirky. This you're banned. Is your dice, motherfucker. This is your dice. You're Go ahead, roll damage. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Katie. I did not mean to. I'm sorry I scared you. Oh, that's 14 D6. Okay. Four, six. Whoa. No, that's not how math works, Anna. <laughs> Four, six, eight, ten, twelve. We'll use the good dice. Fourteen. That is almost all the D6s I have on my desk. Woo! Uh, I can't roll them all ones. in Here my we go. rolling tray. <laughs> I can't roll these all in my um, tray at once. <laughs> um, Just roll seven and seven. I didn't think to do that, but that is... Let me just line them up so I can figure it out in a second. Six, that's a six. Three. Two. That's another three. Roll some more. <laughs> um... A six, that's a five, a four, that's another three, that's another four, and that is another, what is that number? Why is it like that? was a three, okay. <laughs> the num the lettering on the Percy dice is really weird and I forgot mm. about it. Uh, it's a four, that is a five, and that is a two, okay. I'm grabbing my phone. I'm just using a calculator. <laughs> Fuck this. Not today. <laughs> six plus six plus six. Five plus five plus two plus two plus four plus four plus four 
plus three plus three plus three plus three. That is 56 points of radiant damage if I did my math right. Ooh, holy cannoli. All right, hold on. Can I get a god damn? God's damn. God's like damn. It. Holy cannoli. Yeah, that fucking hurt him for sure. But he's still up. Still how's, totally fine. How's he looking? Oh, fuck. Injured, but he's a big boy. So, was that on one or two? Okay. That was on number one. That was on. Mm, that was on the one we'd all been hitting, right? Yeah, that's the yeah, that's the weaker one. That's what I thought. Okay. Well, yeah. that's what I thought. I want to make sure. I was gonna say, oh shit, I hit the wrong one. No, no. Um, then I'm going to use the radiant thing. Yeah, it has go advantage. Ahead. On on number one as well. Yes. You got it. Add advantage. Um, they were both fifteens, natural fifteens. Um. Fuck, I can't do math. Plus eight. Yeah, you're fine. Three. Yeah. The D8, where's the D8? Oh, my heart is pounding. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's gonna be another 12 points of radiant damage, eh? All right. Um, then I'm gonna back the fuck up my full movement. <laughs> okay, makes sense, makes sense. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. All right. And just yell, I'm sorry, I really am. I don't have a choice. Really quickly, if yeah. I have my um, elemental close enough to the tentacle, can the tentacle guardian coil some of the damage done to the elemental? Because uh, um, it's still technically a creature within range, right? Yeah, I don't, I don't see why not. Okay, cool. It is now the giant's turn. Why? Steps on Why? Places. No. Maybe no. Oh. Oh no. The elemental does get an attack opportunity. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Cool beans. Can he just multi attack again? No, he gets one attack. He gets one hit. Just one. Okay. Okay. That's a nat 20. Okay. Go ahead. Roll damage. Oh no. For a different reason. All right. And oh, that is a d10 plus eight. So. But 2d10, it's, it's a crit. Oh, okay. Um, the first one's 15. Second one is uh, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. You only, you only add the whatever plus just once. So it's just it's 2d10 plus whatever it is. Oh, okay. So then um, it's uh, 23. 23? Gotcha. Alexios. We're all gonna die. You're gonna take four great club attacks, all at advantage. I need something hit point. First one is handy, a bud. twenty-one. Uh, I'm gonna shield. Okay, that brings you up to uh, twenty-six. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so the first one. Misses. Jesus. Wait, wait, wait! Really quickly. Is yes. that like a spell or like in, yeah, if you spell, get hit, can you just be like, oh, I have a shield? No, no, that's the, the shield spell increases your AC by five. Okay, and that, um, that's a reaction? Yes. Oh, okay, oh. cool, cool, cool. The second one is a 23, which also misses now. The third one is a 26, so that one is going to hit. <laughs> and the fourth one, that's cocked. Hold on, I'll roll one, one more again. The fourth one is a 22, which misses, so only one of these hits you. You Holy shit. Holy shit. You goddamn piece of shit. Hey, let us have this, <laughs> considering <laughs> one hit from them dropped me within 15 points. That's true. Um, okay, that's gonna be 25 points of bludgeoning damage to you, Alexios. Okay. Everything's fine. And that is the end of your turn, you. but... Alexios, it's now your turn. I need you to make a charisma saving throw. Charisma? Charisma. Dodgy, I'm just saying, shit goes bad. You better be hopping that barrier to cast Revivify. Uh, so, what kind did you say? Charisma. And you said saving? Yes. 
18? Uh, I can add to that if I need to. If I yeah, I don't, I don't think we have to, hopefully. But if I do... It's up to you, Inora. It'll use your so reaction. Let me read what this says real quick. Well, I can't do anything else. I've used the one time I can use Hellish Rebuke. It's true. <laughs> Alexios, it's up to you. What do you want me to do? I will say, if it affects you at all, if it, if it affects this decision, Alexios, I also need you to make a second charisma saving throw. Okay. So Can I'm I not add to the right. lowest of the two? Sure. Okay. Uh, the first one? If it's super low. First one is 18. Yep. Second one is... 14? I'm going to add to that. Sure. Uh, add 5 to it. All Be right. very grateful. 19. You have succeeded. What do you want to do on your turn? Oh. Okay. Okay. I am going to attack Stone Giant 1 again. Alright, go ahead. Twenty-one. Twenty-one hits. Uh, why do I not know what D8s look like today? <laughs> mood. Goddamn mood. Five, six, that's eleven. Points of damage on the first one. Alright. And the second one... Uh, do I have to say I'm going to smite before I smite, or do I have to wait until I know if I hit or not? Uh, depends on which smite you're using. Branding. Branding smite, I believe. Let me just double check. Branding smite. Um, you have to cast it, and then you have to hit. Because it says the next time you hit a creature with a weapon before the spell ends, then this shit happens. So you need to cast it with a bonus action, and then make an attack. But... You've already used your attack action. Yeah, I've already hit. So you have to do it for your next round. Yeah. All right. Do I need to roll a con save for Call Lightning? Oh, for sure, yeah. It'll be really fucking hard, I too, because you got hit by a fucking rock. I just for I just remembered it. It's going to be... I, I don't remember exactly what the damage... Do you remember what, what damage you took? No, but it was... But I don't know. I had that many hit points overall. I don't well, remember. I did 34, and I remember it was I less, 38. Or 38. more than what I took. Yep. Okay, so and that that means that the DC for you is half of that. So it's a DC 19 con concentration check. I can hit. I can hit that because yeah, that's yeah. a con save, right? It's not. Yeah, it's, it's con save. Oh, oh, Ilma, I'm so glad for this uh, plus one because it put it right at 19. <laughs> there you go. So yeah, you, you maintain concentration. I put it from, put it from a two to a three. All right, uh, Alexia, is anything else? Last hit. Okay, go uh, ahead. On still on Stone Giant one. Uh mm huh. Gotcha. Twenty-seven to hit. Yeah, for sure. And that is, what's, uh, what is that? Why can't I do math? That's seven plus six is thirteen. That's thirteen points. You got it. He is looking rougher. Anything else? Oh. Okay. All right. No. No. All right. Uh, Regent, you're up. Okay. Um. Which of the giants looks kind of more worse for wear? Stone Giant 1 for sure. How bad does it look? It's hard to tell. Damn. He's definitely not on okay. Death's Door. But you can see, like, physical cuts and stuff. Okay. But he doesn't mm -hmm. look like he's on Death's Door? Correct. And that's one or two? Yes, that's one. one. Oh, fucking God. These are giants, okay. dude. They're tough. I... This is going to get harder and harder, y'all. 
You know, I almost put them in the campaign I was writing, and I feel <laughs> bad. So I remember about stone giants is literally if you don't attack them, they won't do shit. Well, these are not normal stone giants. Pull out my monster um, manual and read what I know. I'd like to <laughs> they, take won't, a they won't be in that book. They'll be in a different book. Uh, stone giants? Yeah. I guess I'll just all I can really do right now is Eldritch Blast. Um, like the only effective thing I've got to do right now without wasting something really important. Like sure. I could We're gonna look. I need later. Go ahead and look. You'll find stone giants, but you won't find these stone giants. What would you take them out of? Don't worry about it. Um, okay, which one are you firing at? Uh, I'm gonna shoot that at number one. You got it. Uh, well, 18? 18 just hits. Okay, cool beans, cool beans. And that's gonna be... 9, 10, 11, that's 12. And 14 for a total of 26. That's right, yep. <laughs> yeah, All right. and then yeah, that can works. I... Am I able to push it 10 feet away? Uh, does it say anything about size for that? M, let me look. It's magic. Oh, it it should. Agonizing Blast can push them up to 10 feet away. Let me just go to features and traits real quick. Yeah, just to make sure it's not like a, a large or smaller creature or something like that. Bro. Um, or no, it's Repelling Blast. When you hit a creature with Eldritch Blast, you can push the creature up to 10 feet away from you in a straight line. And that is all That's it. Says. All right, so 10 feet. Oof. Gets blasted. Anything um, else for you, Jen? So that was my action. And I will... Mm, I'm going to, for my bonus action, move the tentacle to right. the right there. Um, and I will move, uh, should I? Hold on. Man. Yeah, yeah, screw it. Um, 5, 10, 15, 20. I will move right there. All right. Well, actually, actually, hold on. I'll go there instead, actually. And gotcha. that is my turn. And now it is the elemental's turn. Yep. Who shall move back over to this guy and make two more uh, slam attacks? Go ahead. At disadvantage or at advantage? Um, it is technically a creature, so I'll say sure. So these are at advantage? Yeah. Yeah, that's good, because I rolled a two. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that's a 15, so that's a lot better. 17, 18, 19, 20, 22. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then... Um, man, that advantage really came in clutch. I rolled a 1 for the second one and an 18 for the reroll. God damn, um, yeah. So I, I don't even need to, like, add my... Yeah, my you're good, you're there. good. Um, okay, that's d uh, d10 plus 8 twice. So, d10 plus 8. 7, 8 15. Uh, Eight. 33. 33, all right. Because I rolled a, a 18 and a 15. For sure. They're getting they're getting bloody. They're getting angry. Um, anything else, Regen? Oh, when I moved the tentacle, I didn't make the uh, attack with it. Oh, yeah, you can make the attack, on, for on, sure. On number one. Yeah. Uh, dirty 20. Yep. And then that is just a D8. And I got an 8. All right. Momentarily, this crack from the tentacle almost like brings this giant down to one knee before it gets back up angry. Uh, all right, Anura, you're up. Can I just say, if this is anything like what a stone giant is, holy fuck. I forgot how many hit points these motherfuckers can have. They're tanks, yeah. Because for a regular stone giant, it's 11d12 plus 55. 
Yeah, and this is stronger. Okay. Holy, <laughs> and we're facing two of them? Are they trying to get... See, those other people's got basilisks. We got it's a two stone giants. Holy shit. Um, how is one looking? Uh, rough. Rough, rough, or like just rough? Rough, rough. Like Zuko, that's rough, buddy, or rough, rough? Rough, rough. Like a dog. Rough, rough. Okay. Oh, my fucking God. Um, I'm going to cast Guiding Bolt at second level at him, then. Go ahead. Fucking okay. hey. A. Um, I can't do math. This is a 20... How does yes. math... 26 to hit. Yeah, that hits. That's 5d6. Oh, that's nice. That's really nice. Hey! I'll take that. That's 18... 23, 27 points of radiant damage. Damn. I rolled three sixes. Still up, though. Fucking hey. <laughs> um, how is he looking? Really, really rough. I'm going to take the radiant arrow at him. Sure. All right. Is it advantage? Oh, what dice should I use to go with this? We'll go with this one because this was my first ever dice. We're going to see how it goes. I bought it from GameStop when I worked there. Actually, before I worked there. Hey, that would get me a nat 20. Thank you, Blue God dice. damn, you always get your nat 20s on your, on your Guiding Bolt Advantage shit. Oh, and you shouldn't have let me sack it then. <laughs> <laughs> so, 2d8. My other set of dice, it came with it. Amazing. Six and a seven. So that is fuck, how does math work? Thirteen. Seventeen points of radiant damage. Hold on, let me do some math here. He's like um I feel like D D is really just a trick to get us to like math, to be honest. For sure. Honestly. <laughs> he is like almost dead, but he is somehow still alive. <laughs> Okay, well, I'm going to use my movement and Ryujin, I love you, but I'm like basically hiding behind you. <laughs> but I literally have nothing left in me if they attack me. If they throw a rock, we're both fucked, okay? Well, let me... Wait, At least one of us can get to live if we one of us gets right in. Here. We can go right here. <laughs> All right. Is that your turn, Anura? If Giant One throws yeah. a rock, we're still both fucked. Are we? All right. <laughs> yes. How? It, 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 it won't go through you, Rage. It won't go through you. Yeah. Well, I mean, if the rock's big enough, it'll go. I'll go with it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So. How does he look, Sammy? I need to know. How does who look? Yes, One. That's how he looks. He has a uh, single hit point. <laughs> are you fucking kidding me? So you tell me nope. if a pigeon shit on his shoulder right now, he'd collapse. Yep. If you slapped him across the face, he would be dead. Look, if the four had Who's doubled, that? I would have him. I can, I can, I can show you this map. He's at, he's at two hundred and sixty-four out of two hundred and sixty-five. You fucking mm. kidding me? Yeah. Anyway, uh, so number two. God damn it. We'll start with number two. This is an interesting question, actually. Flanking Sammy, just I'm means... I'm trying to be over, by the way. I get it. Sorry. Flanking just means that two enemies are in melee with you on opposite sides of you. Sammy, don't do what you're about to do. Yeah. Isn't the tentacle or, partially in the way? Or is the definition of flanking two enemies within five feet of you? I thought it was the latter. But I'm gonna I'm gonna I look it up because it, it's a very important decision. Yeah. But look even then, wouldn't the tentacle be in the way in order for Stone Giant One to actually flank? Well, the tentacle, if it was a physical like presence within I mean, five guess... feet, so so they are not flanking currently. Oh, so that was a good God. decision to push them away, huh? Yes, yeah. absolutely. Uh, oh, yeah. Stone Giant Two is gonna make uh, two great club attacks at you, Alexios. I'm gonna guardian coil 
the whichever one hits. Well, hold first. on, you don't even you don't even know if it's if they're gonna hit. Alexis has a quadrillion oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. AC. Oh yeah. Ch also, Ch Ch my I'm supposed to be over one space to the right, but if I put myself there, it deletes my character. What? <laughs> So when I, the way I have the map set up so I can see it without trying to scroll, because if I scroll Man, any, I it just it. freaks out. Yeah, I can't okay. because that's where the thing to throw it away is uh, for me. Alexios, those two hits were a 26 and a 27. Guardian coil. If on the, on the first one, right? Uh, can I... Looking, looking, <laughs> yes. I want to expend one charge when I get hit at first, uh -huh. and uh, it has to make a constitution saving throw? You're asking a giant to make a constitution saving throw? <sighs> Listen, I can get lucky. You Bro. could, and you might have. The saving uh, throw is a plus. It's a eight. 19. Invisible. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Sorry, sorry, sorry. That's wrong. It's a 17. 17? Yeah. Wait. What's the save? It. It. Fucking passes. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Shit. Was it a 17? It was a 16. Oh. Uh, you hate to see it. Well, I can dream. Yeah, um, so you do take damage from both of those Great Club attacks. Amy, I need to know what book you took this from because- I'll tell you about it once the, the fight's over. Because this motherfucker couldn't, like, in theory, based on this book, he has almost double the hit points what the max a stone giant can have. Yeah. <laughs> it happens. Holy shit. Welcome to Gaia! There's going to be 34 points shit. of bludgeoning damage to you. I'm going to Guardian Alexis. Coil that. Uh, for 7 points of damage. So, 27 points of bludgeoning damage, Alexios. Oh. Okay. That's more like on the shield. Resistant to bludgeoning damage. Are you actually? <laughs> <laughs> This is more on the scale of what a fucking storm giant would have. Um, okay, stone giant number one. He's throwing a rock, to isn't he? Throw a rock at you, God Regen. Fucking damn it. How could he not? Regen, I'm sorry. I, I could not take the hit. <laughs> Does an 18 <laughs> hit? No, it misses. Oh Amazing. Yeah, I got a 19 now. Let's go. I need you to make a strength save anyway. No, I refuse. You've got more strength than I do. <laughs> I will not. I will not. Um, okay, well, I don't have a... You said safe? Okay, that strength doesn't matter. Save, yeah. it's still zero. I rolled 16. Oof. That's five. So, you managed to dodge out of the way to make sure that you don't get hit by this rock. But as it shatters across the ground, part of it does hit your leg, and you find yourself pinned. You are... You're not, uh... You're oh, not restrained, no. but you are knocked prone. Fuck. You don't take any damage. It's a good thing I have ranged attacks, right? <laughs> yeah. Fucking um, okay. okay. That is the giant's turn. Alexios, you're up. Oh, Leave Stone Giant okay. 1 to me. Let me have this, please. Do it. I can literally use a bonus action and kill him. Do it. <laughs> Do it. Uh, Alexios, I need you to make another uh, charisma saving throw. I'd like to give eye patch advantage. I just want to know. I'll ask later. Thing, you know? I'll make it a thing. I just gotta say it enough times. Uh, Twenty-one. Eventually. Yeah, you're fine. Same That's continue. Fine. Continue. <laughs> I'm gonna attack Stone Giant two twice at Hit him. Uh, advantage. Uh, yeah. Oh, wow! So that was a natural one and a natural twenty. Okay, so. Then I thank God you had advantage. That was okay. So it's two d eight for that attack and six seven thirteen plus six is nineteen. Where has the music gone? Sorry, sorry, sorry. 
Uh, 19 total, you said? Yep, for that first hit. Uh, Where has all the rum gone? And second, where's my good dice? I can't find them. You want to use my good dice? I keep them in a special little bag. Yeah, the second roll was a dirty 20. And that yes, hits, I'm yeah, like that hits. Uh... <clears throat> Y'all know how we said we'd rather fight the Basilisk? I think not. Why? There was three? 13 for the second. You got it. Shit, uh, I keep on forgetting to smite. Even you if did. you look yeah. away, <laughs> even if you look away, they can still make you uh, roll a Constitution saving throw or be petrified. All right, That's a good Alexa, thing I anything else? Glass lenses. I. Uh, yes. Oh, sorry, quirky. Everyone is echoey because my headphones just died, so I'm not using headphones right now. So I gotta let them charge for a little bit. So you were hearing the echo of them on my computer speakers. I apologize. Yeah, you can use mine, Sammy. Here you go. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, we'll pass you some through the computer real quick. Uh, anything else, Alexios? I'll see if I can move this a little bit closer. Uh, nah, I'm just going to shout, what the fuck? They won't die! <laughs> Regen, you're up. Okay. I am going to... Um, well... Uh, Actually, but the first thing you're gonna do is make a charisma save. A charisma save. Well, I mean, I'm sure you'll you'll be fine. I'll use my big D20 just because they're stone giants. Sure. Um, 19. Yeah, you're fine. Continue. Okay. So I'm going to um, I'm going to um make a Eldritch Blast attack against giant number two. Go ahead. All right. 18 to hit. That just hits. Thank you. Great. Uh, I'm gonna use both blasts on them. Um, first one is gonna be nine damage, and the second one is gonna be a uh, fourteen, a okay. total of twenty-three. You got it. And um, water my... splashes on it. Stony body. Uh, anything else, Regen? Oh, you've with got my... your your elemental and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. With my bonus action, I will move the tentacle over right here and make an attack on Stone Giant number two. Sure. Which is going to be uh, a 19 to hit. That hits. Um, and that is a D8 for three points of damage. You got it. Uh, and then it is the Elemental's turn. Yes. We will make two attacks on Stone Giant number two. With advantage. With advantage. Uh, 22 for the first one. And 21 for the second one. Both hit. All right. And that's a d10 plus 8. So, uh, 12, uh, 28. 28 total? Yep. All right. I picture Ryujin still prone. <laughs> And him just getting up, shooting yeah. two Eldritch Blast, and like playing dead again. <laughs> yeah, he is technically still prone. Uh, yeah, anything else for you, up. Oh, wait, should I try and get up? I mean, you can. Uh, It'll take I should probably. Half your yeah. movement. Yeah, I'm going to get up. All right, you got it. Um, And I will just. uh, I'll just stay where I am. You okay. got it. Anura, you're up. I, I have a little bit more health. I, I can meet. I think I could tank another rock. <laughs> Anura. Actually, right. I'm, where's some wood? I fucking jinxed myself. <laughs> All right. Fucking end this shit. For one of them. Um, Do it. Baby I'm gonna cast... Screen. No, I want to do... Give me a second. I gotta look at something. Do it. I'm gonna cast Guiding Bolt at second level at Stone Giant 2. Okay. Do it. That is an 18 to hit. Just what you need. All right. 5d6. Oh, please be easy math. Mm, you're semi-easy math. That's 10. That's 12. 10 plus 12 is 22. 22. 23 points of radiant damage. There's All a one. right. <sighs> and then I am going to... Am I within 60 feet of the other one? Have I got to move? Uh, of Stone Giant 2? Stone, Stone Giant 1. Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, I 25, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 
I'm good. I'm within range. Yeah, you're good. Then I'm gonna throw the radiant energy at him. Go ahead, make an attack. Nineteen. Yeah, you got it. You can roll damage if you want. I'm good. Okay. So with a little <laughs> for like the a thousandth time this battle, <laughs> your radiant energy slices this stone giant down dead. And I'm gonna go right here. <laughs> Sorry, Ryujin. <Regent. laughs> I haven't got to give heal shield, yet. Give him shield, give him shield, give him shield. All right, anything yeah. else in the row? Uh, that is all. All right. You just hear this giant <laughs> in agony. Um, I feel bad. It's going to take a tax opportunity from the elemental and from Alexios. Is it after me? Oh, no. Uh, um, that's just one attack or two? Uh, it gets, you guys each get one attack. Alexios and oh, the no. elemental get one attack. Oh, God. What is it doing? Oh, fuck. Yes. All right. I rolled a natural 19. Um, I assume that hits. Yes. 25 to hit. Both hit. Uh, and, oh, I fucking max damage. Okay. Um, so 18. Okay. Cool beans. Uh, but the tentacle doesn't get, uh... Correct. Okay. Could I have walked 13. into the hallway, Sammy? I meant to ask. No, the, the gate is closed. Okay, I didn't know. Uh, 13, you said Alexios? Yeah. Okay. Still up. And still angry. Didn't get to do any of the cool shit with those charisma saves, but that's all right. Um, I'm I'm really curious about like what that what that was about. Yeah, we'll, we'll find go. out. Um, okay, he is going to. Use the energy of the aisle. Eat my oh. shorts. <laughs> this is a point blank rock throw. Are you serious? Two rocks. Two rocks. <laughs> one at Ryujin and one at Inora. Oh no, Sammy, I'm gonna die. Ryujin. Okay. What am uh, I rolling? That's a 13. That's a heavy Why miss. Why couldn't that be the one for me? Anora. <laughs> that is a 23. Oh. I'm down, there's no way I'm not. Squeeze. I'm sorry. I just heard the amount of dice you rolled. No. How many dice did you just roll? Four. Uh, 31 points of bloodshed. Uh, yeah, I'm down. I only have 15 hit points left. Okay. Anura is unconscious. <clears throat> Take a look in a book reading Rainbow. <laughs> That's the giant's turn. Alexios. Can be from here? <laughs> okay. Oh, shit. I don't feel like Ryu is within melee? Well, Ryu Jin is not in melee, kind of. but the giant is in melee. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If that makes oh, sense. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, damn. I am going to smite this time. Okay, Ooh. bonus action burning mm -hmm. smite, yeah. Proud of and you. And then I am going to take off towards the giant, sure. take a running leap, and stab him in the back. Go ahead. <laughs> Oh, hell yeah, baby. Sammy, how is the giant looking out of curiosity? Rough. Okay. Uh, What's so, fucking I rolled a natural nine, so that's an 18. 18's just what you need. Go ahead, roll damage. Plus the fire damage. Oh. Let me just start with one shot, too. Damn. Okay, okay, so... 10... Seven, 17 plus 6 is 23, right? 23? 17, 17 plus 6? Is that 23? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Take Magic. your moment. Oh, okay. Yeah, I had a whole thing planned if this didn't take it down, too. I was going to go give Honora a potion, my elemental, and the, the, <laughs> the tentacle were going to come because they were both in range and just so rule of cool sure. i have a question yeah can i step on that tentacle sure 
I can make it like attack your foot if you want to give you like propulsion. I guess. Uh, I don't know. I sure. wonder if I can run up a hit. I, I think this this cool. will be something that you can do this once and cannot yeah. be used again. <laughs> so oh, seeing the, 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 the giant fuck up my friends, I'm going to run up the tentacle to get like a ramp. And as you see me jump, the fire on my blade comes out. And I am going to uh, try and stab at the base of its skull. Right you got it. Little... You feel yourself getting propelled by this spectral tentacle wave. You whip your sword so it's like the other way down, and you feel the flames begin to engulf it as you just stab it with both hands. You can feel it just pierce all the way through its rough skin, right at the base of the skull, and you can feel the life leave its body as you ride this giant down as it goes to its knees and then falls down on its face and you just pull the sword out now wait a Toss minute my hair how tall is this thing 15 feet okay so i'm fine i mean oh, yeah. i might get like it, 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 brushed it, by it's an next arm. to you it's like it's like the troll don't worry about it you're fine gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. um the crowd goes wild I'm so sure now <laughs> before the clean Ryu, people. Ryu, it's your turn. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna give Anora two health potion. Just kidding, a a single health potion. <laughs> uh, a common health potion. Uh, yeah. All right, two d four plus two. Two d four plus two. Uh, two. This is such a weird d four. Usually, in... okay. Sorry. Um, six HP. You get six I'll HP back. Hit. Just as Maynor comes and and guides you guys back to the waiting room, where you have once again succeeded round three of the race to Olympus, and that's where we'll pick up next week. Ooh. 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 I feel so bad the whole time. Under the whole time? Like the whole time, yeah. The whole never... time, I... The sword is what? It's under grip. Like, it's it's always reverse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Never wielded up. That's Gosh. cool. The whole time, I was just sitting there, like, I felt bad. I was like, think of it like hunting. That's all I could do to make myself keep attacking. <laughs> Y'all, <laughs> yeah, so those were um, a slightly, like, Isle of Ares homebrewed Stone okay. Giant Dreamwalker. Oh, oh shit. shit, Sammy! Wait, wait, don't Dreamwalkers have like a, like a a petrifying touch? Yes, yeah, they yeah, do. Yeah. But you have to be charmed by them first, and you guys can't succeed on those charisma saves, Holy so they can never charm shit, you. Shit, man. Gotcha. Yeah, it's like a two-part attack. They have to charm you, and then they can touch you and petrify you. And the petrification is super metal because once you're petrified, they can like attach you to their body and even greater restoration can't help you Ooh, could That's... you imagine if one of us died like that yeah holy shit hey sammy out of curiosity what counts as a celestial for this stuff because i'm looking through the monster manual and i'm scared uh you should be it's mm. that's i'm not gonna tell you anything because like i opened it and the first thing it opened to was a beholder <laughs> Beholders are not celestials. That's what I thought for a second, but then I was like, but are they? Because No, they're aberrations. Xanathar mm -hmm. is an aberration. Aberration. Where yeah. I got if we uh, fight two or two uh beholders. Hey, listen, if we just fight two beholders. On death I pirate, so leave. <laughs> well, you made it more than halfway through this tournament. You got one Big fight left, and then just Paloma. Assuming you make it through. Oh hell yeah, baby! Okay. Oh. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for joining us tonight. Um, we will be back next week with the conclusion of the race to Olympus, and I'll I will be back the Tuesday after that Monday episode with the first episode of the new Red Opera campaign over on Fable Forge RPG, and we will be hosting it here on the channel. So if you want to check it out, definitely check it out tomorrow, or not tomorrow, next week on Tuesday after our session on Monday. Thank you guys so much for joining us today. 
Uh, we what, love you uh, very much. Uh, any parting what words, time is cast? Be on Tuesday? Did Quirky just cheer 500 bits? They oh, did! Sure. Thank you, Quirky. <laughs> Hands up, yeah. fate! Hands up, fate! <laughs> Amazing. Um, uh, what's, uh, what time is that going to be at, Sammy? Great question. It is in Central Time. I believe it is 8 o'clock Central Time. So for me, that'd be 9 o'clock Eastern. Um, <laughs> all right, that's it. I'm going to go eat food and go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Love you guys. We'll see you next week. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye.